Yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm back. You heard what I'm saying? Cletus Chili Juice up in the building. Laurel Lanes, South Jersey, just outside of Philly. Why the hell are we here? We got some stank on it between two franchises. Y'all wanted to see this. Voodoo and South Jersey Strike Force. First, I'm going to go over here, South Jersey Strike Force. Let me know your name. I'm um, Chris. And why do you matter? Um, we're up and coming. We've, mm -hmm. uh, the last, last five stops, we've got 123 points, which is actually second most in our division in the last five stops. Um, we're not, not to be trifled with. We just took down All In, gave them their first in-loss division, something that nobody else in our division can say. Uh-huh. And so why does All In matter? All In is what I consider, you know, the measuring stick. You know, year in and year out, they're at the top of the division or near it. So if we can compete with them, we can compete with anybody. You know you can always knock the head off a snake, right? Absolutely. And you just did it? We did. And you believe you're going to do it again today? I think we got as good a shot as any. Why? We're South Jersey Strike Force. We're in South Jersey. We're oh, going to strike. Okay. So now what we're going to do is... We're gonna we're gonna do this like CNN. You know, we're gonna have a truth telling moment. Mm -hmm. South Jersey Strike Force. Mm -hmm. Yet you're not really holding up to your name. Y'all are in eighth place. Seventh. You so oh you moved up one. We've been in seventh, but okay. Okay. So what I'm saying is, what is it that you believe you're gonna do today against Voodoo that's gonna change your fortunes? We're gonna win. Where are you gonna win? We're gonna win every pair. Every so the so the scratch and the handicap you're gonna win. Sure. Why wouldn't we think that? See, this is what I'm saying. This is why people go to church because they got faith. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's founded, but they go anyway. They put money, you know, into the you know into the pike in the offering, you know, and say, Jesus, please help me. Don't bother. You, you don't think you're gonna win? No, I am absolutely not trashing you. Yeah. I'm just asking a question because the folks want to know. Sure. You know, because at this point right now, this is public facing. This is no longer just UBA members. It's all good. So people on the outside don't know who you are. Yeah. Maybe they I'm, will after this. This, this. this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This man is sitting up here saying, my mama didn't buy me those irregular tidy whities Okay? He's ready to go. Now, uh, what we got here, we got the captain of Team Voodoo, which is right next to the team that New Jersey Strike Force just eliminated. So we had a tight race for the playoffs. For the division. Well, I'm just saying, you get the division, you go to the playoffs, right? We want the division. We want the division. Ten you, points out. You want everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Me personally, I can't bowl. I'm out. Mm -hmm. I had shoulder surgery mm -hmm. February 2nd. I can't bowl. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to call me a bully. I'm talking because I can't bowl. But when I did bowl, I showed up and I bowled. I don't have to bowl on my team for my team to win. I put nine guys out on this pair. I can put any nine out on this pair, and they're going to bowl, and they're going to win. Okay? I have no faith in this team to beat us. None. And he don't even no. go to church. I don't know. I, shit, I go to church. It's going to burn down. Okay? So I have all the faith in these nine guys that I put mm -hmm. on, this, on this pair today mm -hmm. that is going to no doubt win and hopefully with a little help from hell yeah, bump us up first place for the, next, for the first position round, April 30th. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Time will tell. So basically what we have is Saints versus Sinners. Right? Well, I wouldn't say anybody's a saint. Well, I, I, no, I, I would go with that because I have a lot of sinners on Wait, my team. He, well, he said he had faith. Yeah, and I got sinners. Okay. And, and, you got, and you got sinners. Definitely do. So, so, this is, so this is what we're talking about right here. Okay, it's in Laurel Lanes. Now, I have to, I have to tell you this, okay? South Jersey Strike Force is saying that they are here to make a name for themselves. The hell with everybody else. If you don't know, now you know. Voodoo is saying, we don't need nobody to put respect on our name. We already carry it all year. Who's going to win? I don't know. Okay? But 
We fin to find out. You fin to find out. If you got a question, holler at me. Cletus Chitlin Juice from Laurel Lanes. We out of here. This is Gordon Pepper, and we were here over in the PA North District for what promised to be a very loud, very exciting UBA Tour Stop match. I am here by my good friend. I'll let you introduce yourself because you need no introduction. You know, it's always a good time out in the woods when Cletus Chitlin Juice is in the building, okay? Naked, but damn sure not afraid. Not sure we want that image on image our mind this early in this morning. Uh, sometimes he's called Cletus, sometimes he's called Jeff. Sometimes he has a last name. I'm not sure, do you want me to say your last name? Hell no. Okay, so we don't do that. So I'm Gordon, he's Jeff, and we have a fantastic match set up for you. And this is a little bit of a rivalry going on here. We have Voodoo versus South Jersey Strike Force. Uh, Cletus is going to tell us a little bit about said rivalry, and then I will go into what the stakes are for each team. Cletus, Mike is yours. Okay, here's the deal. South Jersey Strike Force right about now is feeling themselves, okay? They just beat the first place team 28 to 12 at the last tour stop. Now they're sitting up there trying to take out Voodoo. Why? I don't know. But they, they were named like South Jersey Strike Force, but yet it's like, it's colloquialism, you know? Strike Force, but yet they're only in seventh place. Why? That's because everybody else is zoomed in on them, okay? We are going to show you exactly what happens when you get methane gas coming out your rear end and you're out here on the bowling lanes. Okay, Gordon? You, 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 know, you know what time it is. You know what I'm fit to do. I, I do know what you're going to do. This is what I'm talking about. This may be unpleasant for the teams that he's going to get to. Oh, it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be hot. It's it's going to be barbecue hot when you got nothing to put it out. All right, so let's let me explain the importance of this match right now. South Jersey Strike Force, yes, they're in seventh place. However, they are only 28 points out of the fourth and final playoff spot. PA North's a little bit tight on top. Voodoo, conversely, is only 10 points behind the aforementioned All In, who did lose to Strike Force. If All In decides to lose again and Voodoo takes care of the Strike Force, Voodoo will move into first place. Conversely, this is almost sort of sort of do or die here for South Jersey Strike Force. If they lose this one, and they lose this one by considerable margin, they don't have to worry about the playoffs because they will not be making the playoffs. Absolutely. But we're not even worried about the playoffs right now. Voodoo is focused on winning the division. Once they do that, their ticket is virtually punched to someplace. But if you've got no ticket, it can't be punched. Why are you even here? This is what I'm saying. God, Gordon, why are you even here? Uh, you're here for the uh, booze? No, no, no. You, you, trust me. You're, 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 you're here to pay tuition is what it is. Or you're here to pay somebody else's tuition. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So the professors are in the building. Let's find out if they can pass the class. Thank you, Jeff. Or Cletus, or both. So right now we have, now here's how the UBA works, just in case you've just turned us in and you have no idea what's going on. This is a tour stop. A tour stop is one of anywhere from 13 to 15 segments of this district. This is the PA North. There are 10 teams in this district. Here's how this game works. There are three different pairs that we're going to be focused on. The first pair is a scratch pair. Um, the other two pairs are handicapped. The handicap here is 70% of 250. For each game that you win, you get two points. If you win overall wood for the series, uh, for each pair, that is four points. So each pair can win a total of 10 points. The complete wood between all nine members of the team, that is worth a bonus 10. Usually, not all the time, usually whoever wins that will win the match. In this case, what South Jersey Strike Force needs to do, they need to win a lot of points. What Voodoo needs to do is just don't get blown out. 22, 24 points for them, that's a good night at the office. 18, 16, 14 points for South Jersey, not good. Not at this point of the, in this stage of the game because there's not a lot of games left. So South Jersey's got to win, and they need to win by a lot. What, what is it, three games left? Uh, I believe it's three or four tour stops left in this district. So there's only anywhere between 120 to 160 points left. Voodoo right now has 238. Mm -hmm. South Jersey's got 189. So South Jersey will not jump Voodoo regardless of what happens. However, depending on what everybody else does, they could move into a playoff spot should they win and win big. 
Well, in the words of that famous broadcaster, turn out the lights, the party's over. All right, right now the party is sort of fading for South Jersey, so therefore they need to recharge. So let's quickly look over here. Right now uh, you have strike... Strike Force doing exactly what they need to do right now, and that's throwing strikes. That's on the scratch pair right now. Uh, on them, let's go through a little bit of the lineup. South Jersey Strike Force. On the scratch side, Van er Eric Layton will lead off, then followed by Tyler Margola. Shane Matthews is in the anchor spot. For Voodoo, you have Brandon Dempster is the leadoff. Joseph Inman, second. Sean Antonelli is in third. Over in the middle of pair, and right now, South Jersey and Voodoo are exchanging opens before a strike for South Jersey. Frank Mer Mulrine Jr., uh, this is on your team, so you can help me out with the pronunciation here. What do we got on Voodoo? Handicap. Over here, first team. Look. What we're going to have is we got Frank Mulrine Jr., we got Bobby Phillips, and we got Kyle Dempster. We've got trained assassins on that first handicap pair. All right? On the last handicap pair, we got Jeremy Dempster, Jack Thorne, and that man, and I'm telling you, is that man, Darren Gordon. Okay, please do not get it twisted. They got time to go ahead and make deposits all up in the crack of your tail, okay? And when they get ready to pull it out and get paid, oh, you, trust me, you're going to feel the withdrawal. Little tuition money coming in. Now, South Jersey Strike Force, the only female bowling for either team, Vanessa McCroy, starts off. Second off, Matthew... She's pretty good. Second bowler, Matthew Wiley. Vanessa actually has a higher average than Matthew. And their, lead, their anchor, Christopher Downs. On the other handicap side, James Keith leads off. Michael Dickey, who, by the way, has made some noise in the World Championship Series. Do not overlook him. He is second. Colin Forrest is your anchor. And those are both teams' lineups. And right now, we see a lot of marks starting out here. Oh, it's going down. But I can tell you right now, South Jersey strike for us look like they tails is about just as tight as you got that uh, rubber that goes uh, spraying out of a can up in their draws, okay? All right, now, needless to say, Jeff Lewis does have hey, a... Hey, man. Cletus does have a rooting interest here. No, 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 I don't. No, no you don't. No, I don't. no he, he doesn't, I, apparently. I am, neutral. I am straight up down the middle. That's it. Okay. And, and they, do the, they do the same thing when they wax you. Oh, that's true, too. So right now, South Jersey Strike Force starting out nothing but strikes and spares. Voodoo right now returning serve. That's on the third pair. Second pair after a pair of seven twos by both bullets in the leadoffs. Lots of strikes going on here. This is right now is looking really good. The only issue that Voodoo has, they've got a pair of opens over the scratch side. Strike Force fully taking advantage, and again, they're throwing nothing but strikes. This is exactly what Strike Force needs to do. They need to pound, pound a lot, try to get the wood as high as humanly possible. Because again, they are in a position, they've got to win a lot of points. Again, just taking 22 or 24 for them, not enough. You're looking at at least 30 points or more from the Strike Force if they really want to get back into it. Voodoo, on the other hand, they see, or they will see what All In is doing. If they can get a win and they see All In losing, they move up in the first. A lot at stake here for both teams at this moment. Look, bottom line is this. It's the difference between a check and a participation certificate. Either way, your mama going to say, oh, baby, Hercules, Hercules. It's not going to work here, though. This is the UBA. I'm telling you right now. In the UBA, if you're not bowling, UBA bowling, no matter where you are, you're probably just practicing, okay? Practice right now making perfect for South Jersey Strike Force. Let's go over here lanes one and two. Right now on the scratch side, six balls, six strikes, South Jersey. And all of a sudden, Voodoo looking in a very, very early 40-pin hole. That could be a lot, lot worse here. Now, we're going to focus here, and again, we're starting in the third frame for South Jersey Strike Force. We're going to start with Van Eric Layton. He's the leadoff bowler right now. He's up. Can they continue this string? Right now, again, they're on six, looking for seven to start game one. And that's good. Oh, in, in, in the middle pair, you got a cleanup on aisle five right now. Okay, just recognize the fact that there's a split. This is this is terrible. It's going to have to clean this up. If not, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. We call this, this shot is called craps, because if you've ever played craps, you're looking at a seven, and this could be seven out. 
So right now, Dickey looking at the open. And it cer certainly looks like, at least early on, Strike Force very, very powerful on the scratch side. Voodoo's got to make it up on the handicap side. Right now, Voodoo looks like they're up a little bit. If you're looking over here, Stout Thursday Strike Force actually is getting 35 pins in the middle pair. On the other side, it is a nine pin game for South Jersey. They're only getting nine pins. So yeah, strikes are going to be very key here in this matchup because not a lot of opens. And of course, the second that I say that, it looks like Vanessa Mercury is going back to the land of the red numbers. So right now, eight in a row on lanes one and two on Strike Force. Voodoo's got to start learning how to carry here. Or this is going to be, this game may be very, li very late in the standings, even though you're only in the third frame. Fortunately, right now, you got a lot of strikes. However, South Jersey Strike Force has not made a mistake yet. We're going to stay over here one second on Shane Matthews on Strike Force. Right now, Shane O'Matic, as he's called here in the UBA. If he could throw another strike here, that will be the front nine in a row for South Jersey. Walking in. Oh, not at all. Nope, that's a six, nine, and all the, I'm sorry, four, nine, and all of a sudden. What's my nickname again? Chris. You are the dark cloud. And what that usually means is that if I notate something on a string, the string usually ends and it usually ends brutally like a 4-9 standing over there. Yeah, you, 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 don't, you don't want to have a dark cloud over you. Nothing but bad news, bad luck, you know, bad timing, bad everything. It's bad everything for Matthews. That is the bad, first bad open. That, that is the first open. And all of a sudden now, John Antonelli over on Voodoo, if, they, if he strikes her, he can bring this back to even. But believe it or not, after almost being buried at the beginning here, there's that shot coming up. He's looking for it. I hear a yeah in the background. That means that looks good. It is now six in a row from Voodoo going on the other direction. Oh, you listen. What you got to do now is you got to recognize Bobby Phillips. He's about to heat it up right about now. He is on Voodoo. He's the middleman. He is the catalyst. He's the one that puts the batteries in their back. Right now we have two bowlers that have the front three starting up going into the fourth frame. Bobby Phillips is one of those. Two of the other ones are on South Jersey Strike Force, Van Eric Layton and Tyler Margolis. And the last person with the front three is also on South Jersey Strike Force, that James Keith. So right now, early goings, uh, South Jersey Strike Force is doing what they need to do. Voodoo right now, at least giving them credit, they're holding on right now to this point, and they need to, to at least withstand this until pattern breaks down a little bit. Listen, bottom line is this. Everybody has a plan until you get punched in the mouth, okay? That is correct, sir. That's it. So right now we're waiting to see, and, and there is an unforced error. Speaking, speaking of falling apart here, South Jersey Strike Force, middle pair that's lanes three and four. We have a pair of opens. Voodoo already has four marks, so they're going to be going in there at least up four to two. You have right now Christopher Downs coming in for the Strike Force. He's got to stop the bleeding here a little bit. Again, they are, South Jersey Strike Force right now is making hand the scratch side. Voodoo right now has got to hold on to the handicap side and maybe even get back in the strike. There's one. Again, nice shot over by Chris Downs. So right now, let's look at the marks going in. South Jersey Strike Force. Right now, they're up a quick 40, but Voodoo's catching up on them, so they're losing two. On the other side right now, South Jersey Strike Force is fall, trying to fall apart a little bit. Uh, Darren Gordon over on Voodoo is looking to maybe throw a strike here. That will be three in a row. And, oh, he gets it. Let, talk to me, Jeff. See, see, see. Cletus. That's Darren Gordon with a hard strike right there, okay? That's three in a row for him. What's going to happen is Voodoo is about to participate in the mastication of their food, okay? They're going to pre-chew it and feed it to South Jersey Strike Force. That's what's about to happen. Voodoo's a big fan of mastication is what I'm hearing. Well, you know, we got them brand new teeth, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So South Jersey Strike Force needs to stay away from the beast, handle their business. If not... It's going to be ugly. And the only thing we're going to do to clean up these lanes and go ahead and just get a mop and just get the blood up off the lanes, okay? South Jersey Strike Force right now, they need to continue doing what they're hiring. And let's go over here on lanes five and six. South Jersey Strike Force, Jeremy, I'm sorry, wrong, James Keith has left a five pin. Let's talk a little bit about the five pin culture, Cletus. Okay, if you leave a five pin in the UBA, you need to pick it up. If you do not pick it up, you run the express wish of the entire UBA of getting your face smacked with powder, okay? 
If you miss it, a five pin. If you do a double gutter, it's a wrap. Oh, but he picked it up. He did pick it up. He saved himself he some did. powder. Because you know, you know they got a drugstore right up the street. If, 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 you, if you didn't have, you know, a, like a little bottle, you know, they got the real big bottles over there. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure that they have powder going over here. But, in this but what I'm saying is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to personally smack them. That's what I'm going to do. You would personally. Because you did it. Because you did it in front of me. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. All right. What's going on right now? Let's take a look over on the scratch side. What's going on here is, again, strike force is starting up the strikes. However, uh, Voodoo is starting to come back a little bit. So there seems to be a little strike fest going on. Tyler Margolis still has the front four. However, he's the only one that's stringing right now. Voodoo and Tonelli right now has got three. So... In this case, it still looks like Strike Force is up by around 40. We'll get back to that momentarily. Right now, well, there's one streak that has just ended over in lanes three and four, and that's from Christopher Downs. Leaves a seven pin. So, but Voodoo's still going along here. They're averaging four marks, and that's cutting in the Strike Force. Strike Force was up by over 50 at one point. Now the lead's going to be under 10, and if he misses the seven pin, they don't have a lead, and Voodoo will be taking the lead. Right now, we're going to be focusing on the first two pair because it looks like we've got a little issue over on lane six. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got a strike by South Jersey Strike Falls over there on the Scratch Bear. Okay, however, oh, it bit, it bit, he made his spare. Now, see, here's the thing. He's the captain of South Jersey Strike Force. so if he would have missed that, do you know what kind of pressure would have been on him? A lot. A whole lot. And Voodoo would have gotten really, really loud. No. It's still early I don't, for I don't, to get loud. I don't think so. Listen, let, let, let's point out a little something going on, you All know, right. why we got a why we got a break in the action. Mm -hmm. We got a, a, a lot of the bowlers from South Jersey Strike Force, you know, have come out here with church socks, you know, on their uh, on their bowling shoes. Mm -hmm. How do you bowl that way? You're supposed to be an athlete. Okay, could you could you imagine if Dr. J went up for a double pump slam wearing church socks in his converse? Well, the UBA has never been considered the League of Churches, as as we all know. And if you're going to be quiet as a church mouse, especially in this match, you're going to be preaching from the pews later to your new deity, wherever the heck that shows up on. So right now, we'll get back to links five and six, because now there's some action, and uh, Mike Dickey right now may not be wanting to go back on lanes five and six. Again, they've had... Strike, let's put it this way, the, the South Jersey Strike Force had a 50 pin lead. That lead is about to vanish. Uh, three strikes from Voodoo and all of a sudden Voodoo will take the lead in that second pair. That's, oh my goodness, that's one of them. What, 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 did, I, what did I tell you, okay? We're, we're gonna play this straight up and down the middle, but we know what we're looking at, okay? If you throw meat in a lion's den, it will get eaten. And the lion will be masticated. No, the lion will masticate the meat. Absolutely, yes. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay? You also don't want to go to the gorilla cage. Because if they grab you, you're not getting away from them. So what we got what we got here, oh, uh, what we got here is we got a little zoo situation. And people are praying. They call your mama, make sure your insurance is paid up. Well, Voodoo right now in that third game, strike, strike, right in that third in the third pair, I should say, strike, strike, and all of a sudden, we had a 50-pin lead from South Jersey Strike Force. Voodoo is threatening to start to open this up. Again, if you're South Jersey Strike Force, you need to win pins. We finally got a strike over by Colin Forrest. However, first of all, that was a butt-ugly strike. Really ugly. Uglier than me. That's how ugly that was. And second of all, more importantly, right now you're looking at a potential 5-2 run from Voodoo. Right now, their bottom two bowlers are Jack Thorne Jr. and Darren Gordon. S six out of their first seven balls out of their hands are strikes. This could be seven out of eight. And if that does happen, they'll be up now. It'll be their turn to be up by 30, 40 pins. Here's a shot coming out. Here's a shot by Gordon. That looks good. It is. That's Darren Gordon. He's got four in a row. He's holding it down for voodoo. They're creeping. They're creeping on a come up. That's what they're doing. They're, they're, about, they're about to murk somebody up in here. 
Well, they're, they're creeping. We, Meanwhile, let's go over the scratch because South Jersey Strike Force all of a sudden, they have an open over from Tyler Margolis. And it looks like Voodoo is starting to sneak back into this one. Voodoo strike here puts him down by 26, and that's what we get. Meanwhile, now a double over here, and they take the lead over in Scratch. And that was the pair that I thought at the beginning. The South Jersey Strike Force had the front eight strikes in a row between the first three bowlers. They they came out first eight strikes. We're now in the sixth frame, the second half of game one. And all of a sudden, Voodoo looks like they're looking to take control in that pair. They already have control in the middle pair. And then they already have control of the end pair. South Jersey Strike Force for chalking my mouth to send us down here. Sounding pretty quiet right now. What do you think they're thinking at this moment? They want aspirin. They, want, they got a voodoo size headache? They, they, they want aspirin. Do you, do you know, like, maybe somebody's got, like, a little South Jersey Strike Force dolls and they're sort of sticking pins them at this moment? They have no pins. Their pins are short. They got a doll, but they play with dolls. Well, right now they're playing with fire because now all of a sudden, remember we were saying South Jersey Strike Force, eight in a row in scratch. Let's go over to Handicap. And now we have seven in a row on that third pair on the Handicap side for Voodoo. Strike Force does it, and all of a sudden they're looking to get exactly what you cannot do in the UBA, which is get blown out. Well, you just missed Bobby Phillips has just thrown a strike and sent the message. You have your time shortened. Yeah, I, I mean, again, if, well, right, is that another, oh, no, that looks like that they're still fixing over here. Got another issue over in lane six. However, lane five, we're going to see here if Darren Gordon can keep this going. Darren Gordon's got the front four. We're in the fifth frame. We all know mathematically what that means. And I don't like to be cursing anybody out of the, oh, here we go. All right, I'll take responsibility for that one also. Just, just, just if, tell me. If, if you didn't know, he had the front four and just left a really, really ugly split. That is the effect of the dark cloud. Yeah, two, two, four, six, ten, and there was a side bet over there saying that Gordon was going to make sure, ensure that no 300s are going to be shot if he points them out. And so far, that's looking like the case at this particular moment. So right now, there's no chance of anybody getting a 300 this game. And right now, that could have been, and yeah, it's early in the sixth frame, but that could have been big trouble for Strike for strike Force with another strike. Maybe as a shot at the spirit, nope, 6-2. That's Gordon's first open. That being said, it's still a very comfortable lead over for Voodoo on that third handicap pair. Let's go over the second handicap pair right now. Oh, I'm sorry, the second half. Let's go to the first handicap pair right now. And yeah, the South Jersey Strike Force, again, in trouble. All three pairs right now, they're in trouble. There's not much good good things I can say about South Jersey at this moment. A double will sort of salvage something. It will keep them in the game right now. And that is if uh, Christopher Downs can do that at this point, a.k.a. Sheldon. That's what he's called in the UB jersey. Sheldon needs a strike right here. Or else his Big Bang Theory could get big banged. The big Bang will be a big clunk is what it is because they got an open at the top. Well, as I said, they're already going to be down. They're trying to salvage a little bit here. Need, desperately needs a strike. He gets it. So right now, even though it says on the scoreboard they're up by seven, they're actually down by three. That right now looks like that's the closest one because here comes, going over the scratch side, here comes Voodoo again, and now they're throwing strikes. So right now, it is Voodoo that's throwing strikes at this point. You've got Brandon Dempster, Joseph Inman between the both of them. Five out of the past six are strikes. And again, they were they were down. They're now up. So with, with the double. Frank Mulrion with a big strike there. Yeah, he's got four in a row. And again, right, right now, it looks like Voodoo is starting to pull away in all three games. And that does not help South Jersey Strike Force's cause right there with Vanessa McCrory. That's looking like open number four for her. And right now at this point, you're in a must-win game. You cannot be throwing opens. Right now, South Jersey in the middle of the pair. One, two, three, four, five, six opens. Voodoo right now only has two, which is why they are up. On the second handicap pair, that open by Darren Gordon, that was his first of the pair. That's there. Meanwhile, almost everything else is strikes. One, two, three. You have ten strikes over on Voodoo's side. And they're almost all connected to South Jersey Strike Force. You don't have that at this moment. And again, if they strike here, 
from the Grim Reaper, who would be Colin Forrest. That, again, keeps them in the game, but they're still going to be down by around 25 pins. I, again, what does South Jersey Strike Force need? And now it's a four pin, so now all of a sudden they're going to fall further behind. What does South Jersey Strike Force need to do in order to pick it up? Because there's no noise, no nothing, and this is the team that was very loud last tour stop. I'm going to tell you what they need. They need somebody to go ahead and fix the underwire on their bra because it's sticking them. You can tell the way they're throwing the ball. It hurts. You're talking about them wearing church socks. Do they need a preacher? He can't, you can't pray for that. Minister. Same thing. I don't care if it was a shaman. You're stuck. Well, speaking of stuck, of going over here and what used to be a close match is turning into a not-so-close match. Vanessa McCroy already with an open. Matthew, R Matthew Wiley right now looking to make an adjustment. That's the wrong one. One, two, four, ten. And again, meanwhile, Voodoo's answering with strikes. So Kyle Dempster right now up for Voodoo. If he strikes here, it will be at least, assuming that he doesn't make the spare. Oh, he makes a spare. That's some good news over here. If he makes a spare, which he does, at least it will be a 5-3 run, which means they're going to add 20 more pins to their lead. That's the least that can happen. Again, uh, more, more power on, Bobby, on Kyle Dempster. Bobby Phillips made the strike. That's great. I uh, made the spare. I'm sorry. That's great. Bobby Phillips needs to make the strike. Right Meanwhile, about, over here. I'm right, sorry. Right about now, South Jersey Storm is down big on the second handicap here. And it's not looking good. Not looking good. Okay, and one of the things that was discussed over here is overall wood. That is huge. That's 10 points. South Jersey Storm needs desperately to get the overall wood. Big strike over there by Kyle Dempster. I'm sorry, Rob, by Christopher Downs. Kyle Dempster is up now. Did not get a big strike. He's got a 10 pin he's looking at right now. Again, if he makes it, it's 5-3. Another 20 pins on the board for Voodoo. So right now, let's go over to Scratch. Scratch at least, maybe it's a little tighter, or maybe not. It's actually going back and forth now on the Scratch side, which is good. Voodoo has gotten themselves right back into this. South Jersey took the lead back going into the seventh, now into the eighth. This is close right now. South Jersey's, that's Tyler Margolis again, looking to get back into the striking lanes. That looks good to me. Oh, no, it doesn't. There's a big pillar in my way. So, but right now, again, it looks like Voodoo is going to be at least up 3-1 three, three, in terms of the marks going into the ninth frame. So, technically, right now, they could be in the lead, depending on what those anchor bowlers do. Margolis looking for the spare. He'll get it. Now, it's down to Jonathan Antonelli and Shane Matthews over in the anchor's positions. So we'll focus on this a little bit, then we'll go back over on the handicap side, because again, Scratch looks like they're gonna be finishing first. And it looks like this could be a little tight. Antonelli does not get the strike over here. He's got eight. Big chance for Shane Matthews right now. Get a strike, that'd be three in a row. That could hold off Voodoo a little bit, stem the tide. That being said, Voodoo is gonna come again within at least 10. Okay. All right, so right now, we're gonna look here. Right now, Shane O'Matic up. That would be Shane Matthews. Shane O'Matic here with the strike. If he gets it, uh, they will be up by around 15 pins going in ninth frame. If he doesn't get it, that's gonna be trouble. And we, we've got more of a mess. You can't be missing space if you're South Jersey Strike Force, period. See, this is, this is what I'm saying. You walk around with a name like the Grim Reaper, okay? And for those of you that are not here, you have your personalized nickname on your jersey, which is a little bit different. It's sort of like, you know, similar to the XFL, you know, they had their nicknames. Only thing is the UBA been had their nicknames before the XFL was around, okay? Let's get it straight. You just had the Grim Reaper come up empty like a claw in a damn game in an arcade. There was nothing grim about it. That was sloppy. Well, his spare attempt was grim. Okay, okay. So now, on the second handicap pair, you got Mr. AKA Balls to the Walls, okay? Just threw a strike. See, this is what I'm talking about when you live up to your name. 
balls to the walls. But too bad he ain't bowling worth a buck, okay? That's the bottom line. Now, we've got a bad split on the first uh, first pair. Strike. Who is this? It's the, it's the drill sergeant, okay? He's sitting up there trying to, trying to deliver orders and ain't nobody listening. How you got a split like that, okay? He's got the six, seven, ten up there. Meanwhile, we got a five one up there. That is from Voodoo. That is from the Ripper. Uh, and he missed it. Okay. The Ripper has a Greek church up. Okay. That is the. That's not a Greek church. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, I was gonna call it a Greek church, only because it looked like he's about to put some tzatziki sauce on it. That would be tasty you to go along with domestication. It, that, it, exactly, that's what I'm talking about. All right, he took a shot at it. He left two. All right, but he picked up three. So you don't want anything out there on the lanes that you can't pick up. Okay. Oh, she's back. She's back. She threw a strike. How about that? She threw a strike? And she, she absolutely had to. South Jersey Strike Force trying to get back into this match badly in this case. So, and, and right now, that's, that's exactly what they're trying to do. Voodoo, again, this is tight. This is going back and forth. Voodoo trying Darren to hold Morgan. on. Darren Morgan, a.k.a. the black man has mm -hmm. just gotten back into it after his first four strikes. He opened, he has now thrown two in a row. He's going for another run. He's about to ice this game for Voodoo. Well, there's still plenty of game left to go on there. It's not an insurmountable lead. However, South Jersey Strike Force has got to do better than what just happened. And we have another open. And this time from the Grim Reaper. And uh, right now, Grim Reaper needs a drink. Sledge sent a messenger, but the messenger didn't have GPS, so the messenger did not. No, nope, no, no FedEx, no messenger shot over here. Now all, this, all of a sudden, South Jersey Strike Force. In in this match, now that looks like they can take two out of the three pair. So this one's going back and forth. Absolutely. Well, it would have been great to have that strike. Doesn't have it. Gets a nine. Gets out of trouble. Sheldon over here with the nine. Hold on, hold on. People. Sheldon is trying to hold it up for his squad. He had a good little run going. He had three in a row. He got a nine spare, and then he had four in a row. Then he turned around and just threw a weak nine. That's not good. There's, there's no big bang on that theory, Sheldon. There's no big bang. Somebody must have sat in his seat on the couch. Well, so we're going to look over here. Now, again, South Jersey Strike Force. They, it's a 20-pin game right now, assuming that he makes a spare, which he will. So right now they're going to be up five. They're going to be up five to whatever, five to four if he strikes. If he doesn't strike, South Jersey Strike Force will take the lead going into the 10th frame in the first handicap. Looking over to Scratch right now, it is Voodoo up by 26. Yeah, they will. Voodoo's going to be up by 26 right now. Second shot here. Ooh, that's an open except. Again, it's, it's looking like Voodoo may have enough to get away with the game. This one's still very, very close, very, very tight. And now we're going into the 10th frame right now. Voodoo up by nine. So both the scratch and the first handicap pair is close. Second handicap pair, not so close. And that, however, is where the wood is. And as we all know in the UBA, that's basically where you're gonna win or lose games and the matches is gonna be the overall wood. So right, right now we have a seven pin up there in the handicap. You have both the scratch and handicap going on in the 10th frame at the same time. Voodoo right now is up by 13. However, the double by South Jersey Strike Force means that they're going to be down. Actually, I'm sorry, 33. They're going to be down. Yeah, they're going to be down a little bit. If South Jersey Strike Force goes out, they're going to win the scratch side. So now here we go. 
So, handicap side right now. Looking to make the spare. He does. So that's tight. It's very tight. Now, you have the Huntress. The Huntress has found some prey. The Huntress is now possibly masticating. She's on. She is. She is. Second shot in the 10th. If she hits it, will give the strike force the lead going into their last two bowlers. So, Mimo, while that's going on, going down the scratch. T immobile right now. I'll oh, make it four in a row. Now South Jersey Strike Force will have the lead going down the last two bowlers. South Jersey Strike Force trying to do the same thing on the scratch side. Big strike here if he gets it, and he won't. That is a huge non-strike because Voodoo has already thrown the first strike over in that side. Voodoo looking to cement their lead. A second strike here, and all of a sudden their anchor is not going to need a mark. Big shot here coming up. Get it. He got it. That's a huge, huge strike. So now it depends on his count, and it depends on T-Mobile's count for South Jersey Strike Force. Mobile right now looking to make the spare. He will. Meanwhile, going back over the handicap, looking at the Huntress. Huntress is looking to finish out with five in a row. And will she? She won't, but the, she did leave a bucket. And then that's a huge bucket for the wrong reason, because instead of being up by double digits, they're only up by single. Right now, South Jersey Strike Force up by eight. Both teams left have someone on a double and someone on a spare. Now going back over on the scratch side. It looks like it's gonna be up. That's a big shot, oh my goodness. That is a huge hole that he left and that is a huge, huge issue. Huge advantage for the Strike Force right here if they can, if they can take care of it. They take advantage and again, you, you've had and I believe Reaper is up now. Actually, we're waiting now. They're, that fell, they're looking to fill the fill at this point. Reaper is up on South Jersey. Reaper has a huge, huge opportunity to take this game away. South Jersey Strike Force needed the strike and the scratch. First one, they have it. Now that forces Voodoo to throw a mark here. And Jay Smooth is up. This is for the scratch game over here. If he throws a strike or at least a mark. Oh, gets himself out of trouble. That's a nine. It's still okay. Voodoo's still okay here as long as he makes a spare. If he makes a spare, they're still fine. But all of a sudden, they made it interesting. Now, of course, Shane O'Matic must get the second strike here. So if he does that, that forces Voodoo to get the spare. Here's Reaper over here in the middle. This is a huge shot if he hits it. Oh my goodness! Two, four, ten, and all of a sudden, which dueling opens. See, this is this is what happens when you have a fire sale on names. You got a Reaper and a Grim Reaper. It, it, do you have to graduate to be a Grim Reaper, or do you download whatever you need and you just say you're a Reaper? You know, with all kinds of coupons. He's he's not going to pick up that spare. He's not, but here's a bigger issue that they have, which is keep in mind that South Jersey was up by 13 going into, I'm sorry, was up by eight going in the last two. Those two open, so that sort of cancels each other out. Now, Voodoo had a chance to put this one away with the first strike, however, didn't do it. So now all of a sudden, uh, Sheldon has a chance to win this one for the South Jersey Strike Force. Meanwhile, Voodoo does make the spare and the scratch, so Voodoo is gonna win the scratch. So that's two points for them. So now that mark means that South Jersey does need a mark here in in order to get in order to get the handicap pair in the first pair. And then once we're done with that, we'll go to the second handicap pair where it's not nearly as close, even though again, South Jersey Strike Force is looking to make this one a little bit of a game. It's funny, at the beginning, you sort of thought that South Jersey was going to take all three. Then in the seventh frame, you thought, okay, Voodoo is going to take all three. And now all, all of a sudden, South Jersey has already taken one. They have a shot of taking the second one. They're going to. Sheldon with the strike. So now, mathematically, Sheldon only needs three pins and two balls. He'll get that. So South Jersey up for, for a zip. However, and a big however here, let's focus our attention now to the second handicap pair. South Jersey Strike Force is making a run. In marks, they're up 5-2. to two. So even though it's 47, it's now a less than 20-pin lead for Voodoo. 
and balls to the wall really needs to throw some balls to the wall. He's the only person on South Jersey Strike Force that does not have a double going in. Jeff, thoughts? Well, if he's got balls to the walls, he need to have some big ones. That's for sure. Well, he's got an opportunity now. The only bowler that had a strike going into the 10th frame for Voodoo, for Voodoo all of a sudden has left a four pin, which could be doo doo. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. When we talk about the overall wood, okay? That's huge. Sheldon just killed himself. Basically, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 balls to the walls is actually throwing in an alleyway because there's no walls. <laughs> there, there was no there's wall no walls. There. Okay. Sheldon basically left himself a little, a little bit of a mess. He picked it up. So they're not going to have that much of a lead. Only a nine pin lead going into the second game. South Jersey Strikeforce right now is not going to have a lead in either the first or the second more than 20 pins. Right. And right now, balls to the wall. Uh-oh. That's an open, and that's a huge see? open right there see? because now that gives Voodoo a little bit more cushion. And this is what I'm talking about, truth in advertising. Mm -hmm. You got tiny balls going to the walls. Pause. Uh, pause, pause, pause. Pause. All right, so right now we got Gritty coming up. And in order to put any pressure on Voodoo whatsoever, the next ball that comes out of Gritty's hand has got to be a strike. Especially because he's up strike, a double to an open. I mean, theoretically, it's a five bagger to an open, but the, all those pins have been added in, so it's a double to an open at this moment. Voodoo still up by 17, going into actually no, now it's up by a little bit more. Now they're up by 32, thanks to the open to the mark. So South Jersey Strike Force needs to throw a bunch of strikes at this moment. If they don't, Voodoo will not only take this game; they'll have the overall wood, which is exactly what Strike Force doesn't want. And that doesn't look like a strike. Okay. Right, but it is. That, that, that was a loose mixer. So that, Gritty's. That was, it didn't look like a strike, and then all of a sudden it went down. Gritty's going to have to change his name to Betty Crocker if he's going to start mixing stuff like that. Uh, that's a mixer. So and all of a sudden now we have a three pin left over by the Rippers. So now an opportunity for South Jersey Strike Force to not only cut this down to 11, but to maybe take the lead, depending on what he does over here. Big shot coming up for Gritty. So, and now if you're Voodoo, you're thinking, uh-oh, this this lead could be vanishing very, very quickly. Mixer. Lee's not going anywhere. Yeah, this time, no. So I said, it didn't look like a strike until that pin fell down, and then all of a sudden it was. Now it didn't look like one, and it wasn't. So Gritty's going to finish somewhere in the 230s. However, one of the things that South Jersey did do is they are at least making Voodoo think about it. And again, if South Jersey may not get the win here, but they could cut the wood down or maybe even take the wood going into game two. Now, Jeff, big strike here. And again, this is all about... You keep using my government. Cletus, big strike over here. All right. He picked up the double. He's got the mother-in-law in the back. He, he got them both. Ripper right now that, up. That was gritty. Okay. That was very gritty. Ripper right now, this is a big shot over here, especially on the count. Seven means that Kareem Reaper's got to go out the door to have any sort of chance of, of getting this because any mark from Voodoo, and I'll put him up, that's 10. That's a big shot right there. So here's the situation. Grim Reaper needs to go out the door, and he needs a little bit of help from your guy. And that's an eight-pin game over. Sorry, somebody put an air tag on his game and called an Uber because it didn't show up. Did, did not show up. Now, just because the game's over at this point, there's still something to play for, and that's the overall wood. That's with a bonus 10 points. So this is, this is important here to try to get the overall wood. If he can strike out, that will be more of a victory. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. The, the, the black man just took care of it. And no, 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 and, and, and trust me, that wasn't racial. That is his nickname, the black man. It is his nickname, the black man. I'm sure if you're coming over here and you're going, wait, what are they talking about? We're talking about the nicknames on the jerseys. The black man is the name on the jersey. And the Grim Reaper will get the spare. So he'll cut the wood down. However, Voodoo, despite being down four to two, will have the overall wood. So technically they are up in the match because they have the wood. That being said, wood's gonna be really, really tight. So, Jeff, I'm sorry, Cletus, what do you think about this first round? 
it's it's, it's just from the government. It's just it, it's it's like a book, okay? Mm -hmm. This this is what you call the forward, okay? That's what's going on. They're gonna tell you what's gonna happen. They're gonna give you your impressions of what's about to go down just before you get to the meat of the story. Mm -hmm. And and right now you have the appetizer, and it's very appetizing at this point. South Jersey Storm is up on the match for it too. However, oh, what? Voodoo has got the wood. So that, that's a big however at this point. So right now, sort of looking like 22-18, 24-16, even if the South Jersey Storm wins, as we, as we said already in the standings, that's no good for them. They got to take at least 30, 32, 34 points. So winning 22, that's not really good. That'll just stick them closer to the midway point. They've got to do something, and I mean really something. That's, that's not going to help them. That's like, that's like being on a tour bus with only three wheels. Uh, that, that's true. They, they need four wheels and they need bigger horsepower than what they currently are doing in game one. Now, let's go over to game two. We've been focusing a lot on the handicap. Let's turn around on the scratch side in game two because they're already in the second frame. South Jersey Strike Force doing what they did at the beginning of game one, which is taking a quick lead over Voodoo. And they're going to extend it thanks to the 4 2 run in the second frame and the opens. That being said, again, we've seen this before in game one. They didn't capitalize. How come? It's, it's Fugazi. That's why. It's, it's straight Fugazi. What, what, what else do you want? You stop, look, South Jersey strike force, but you're not throwing enough strikes with force. You understand what I'm saying? You, like I said, if you throw in mixers, you need to blow the pocket. That's what you need. You need to blow the pocket. Let people know you're in the building. Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to go up there to the line and you're going to feel a shoe right in your ass. Well, right now, that's sort of what's going on. It, it's going back and forth here. I'm, I'm still expecting a little bit of loud from South Jersey Strike Force, but then again, they're in a barn burner at this point. Big shot from Drill Sergeant. Drill Sergeant up on the board. Huntress is celebrating this. Uh, meanwhile, again, Voodoo, once again, falling behind here a little bit early. South Jersey Strike Force starting out with the, with the first three strikes over in the first frame. Keep in mind they were up they, they were up in terms of handicap, they're getting 35 pins. So if they have to do is protect the 35 pins. They were good enough to do it in game one. But again, they need to add on to this. Just winning by eight and nine and twelve is not good enough, and Huntress doing that also is not good enough. And let me tell you something. For those of you that bowl, if you're a lefty, you pretty much have the lane all to yourself. Well, de depending on how your captain set up the lineup okay she's not taking advantage of it okay she's a huntress with no weapons right now we need for her to call a uber to get her game to the match okay that's what we need well right right now we're calling an uber and uh, there was only a half delivery maybe she needs grubhub uber eats i don't know so anyway that's an open and just like that even though Voodoo started, again, with spares, a strike to an open is always good. A strike to an open is always better than a strike to a spare, especially if you're trying to catch up. So right now, let's go back over to Scratch, South Jersey Strike Force. Oh, that's that sledge right there. You see what's going now. We busting up concrete bricks. You understand? That's what a sledge does. It busts up concrete bricks or the other team's ego, if that's what's necessary. Yeah, now what sort of unicorn that we have? It looks like we have That's a, a drunk, drunk unicorn. unicorn. Dr drunk unicorn. I think, uh, he, he needs to get, he needs to get a, a little bit of gas in his tank right now. I need, I need for that unicorn to be more drunk. I, either more drunk or, or at least more sober, or at least more something. I don't know, sometimes in the UBA, sometimes you need to be more drunk. Sometimes. Let's see. So right, right. And now we're, we're, we're not we're not advocating drinking right now. That's not we're what not. we're doing. We're not we're, doing that. We're, we're, what we're saying is, that's that swing right. That's what gets your arm lined up. Okay. We, we for the, for those of you for those of you at home, bowling. do not go bowling and start drinking. But make sure you have some swing right in your arsenal. And drunk unicorn has left a ten pin, so it's not swinging very right. Didn't swing right enough. 
Drunk Unicorns there. Meanwhile, South Jersey Strike Force went like they have done in the other two pairs. Strike, strike, strike to start off the first frame. Now, now when I did the interviews before the match, mm -hmm. we heard that South Jersey Storm, uh, South Jersey Strike Force, had faith in their abilities. Okay, yet their captain, Sheldon, just turned around, threw a shot, left a ringing seven pin, and he's begging for it to go down. Why? Did you did you not put enough in the offering plate at church? So, sometimes, sometimes wait, you need wait, faith from your village. Wait, 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 wait. Sometimes you need faith from other entities. Balls to the walls just basically yell at us, leave his guy alone. You know what I do. You know what this is. Okay? Recognize. Re Re That's what I'm saying. Let's put it this I'm, way. Listen. Listen, I'm going to be on your back like a silverback gorilla all day long if you don't do what you're supposed to do. I'm telling you, it's a promise. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I didn't say what I was going to do. I just said I'd be on your back. That's all I said. Anyway, so the, the one thing that we can get out of that conversation is uh, Cletus is telling South Jersey Strike Force, if you don't want us to pick on you, bowl better. So that's what we're looking to do right now. Let's see if they get that message. South Jersey Strike Force again. Second handicap pair. Strike, strike, strike to start. That hasn't been the problem for South Jersey Strike Force as the start. The problem that they have had is in the middle when they've had a chance to put Voodoo away, and they haven't. And right now, they are down in terms of the overall wood. Yes, they've got two games, but again, the overall wood is what's going to give you the victory. And more importantly, for a team that is 29 points away from the playoffs, that is something you need desperately. And sure enough, to that balls to the wall has left a six pin not to the wall. I told, I told you, he does not believe in what's about to happen because the dark cloud is sitting here, okay? Your game right now is suspect. You need to go and call somebody. You need a lifeline. You need to go call a friend. You need to do something because if not, the only thing you're going to hear is you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Maybe call a dark cloud. Voodoo right now does not need dark clouds. Right now, what they do need is stoppers from South Jersey Strike Force in the first two pairs. Right now, they're not getting it, even though they just got one. In, they just got one in scratch hey, that's, in that's that frame, sledge, except now that's going back and forth. That's scratch. That there's that sledge, sledge with another strike. And right now, you're looking at scratch going back and forth here. Six pin lead over South Jersey Strike Force because they're not doing what they did at the beginning and all of a sudden Voodoo is doing in the middle what they probably should have done to start off this game. Look, bottom line is you're sitting up there trying to play with your opponent. That's about the equivalent of pulling a Chucky doll out the box. You know what's gonna happen, you're gonna get cut. Right now, South Jersey Strike Force up by around 20 in the middle pair. And right now they've got some work to do. They have a chance to build out a lead here if Grady can throw a strike here. Uh, that's not how you build a lead. That's the double. That's not the right type of double. And all of a sudden, balls to the wall staring at us again. He's got, he's, he's got the wrong name on the back of his jersey. He's got Gritty up there. Right now, it should say Slime. Ouch. Wet concrete. We have we have wet concrete right now with a 4-6-7. Uh, all, all the way on lanes 5 and 6. The Green Reaper is staring at us. Right now, I will say this. I'll throw the gauntlet down. The Green Reaper has a chance to at least salvage this frame, if not build a lead for the South Jersey Strike Force at this moment. We will see if the Grim Reaper answers the call because throwing a ball in the gutter when you have pins up there on the 467 is not exactly answering the call, unless the call is coming from the operator saying you've been disconnected. Well, he, he, he might as well act like he knew addition and singing Mr. Telephone Man because he sure got hung up on. I miss Mr. Telephone Man. We, I know that reference, too. New Edition was pretty cool back in the day. And they're still on tour right now. I think they are. I think they are. Ooh. That oh, also looked good by the black man, but 7-pin. That that's a strong 7-pin. Strong 7-pin. Now, let's see what the Grim Reaper does. We've given him the gauntlet here. We told him for their lifeline. It's sort of like who wants to be a millionaire. There's three lifelines out there at the table. Hey, hey there's a strike. Hey, we just, we just got we just got a strike by the first of the day. On the, on the first handicap here. Real strong looking, real strong. That's, that's academic right there. That's what I'm talking about. Textbook. 
All right now, South Jersey Strike Force needs to build on their two wins that they got in the first game for everybody that's just joining us. Uh, right now, South Jersey Strike Force is up on the games, four to two. However, Voodoo is up on the wood. That being said, it is very tight all around. Hey, all around right now, yes, sir. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Mr. Dark Cloud. Yes. Explain how they're up four two with the points. Okay, so each game is worth two points. South Jersey Strike Force won the first scratch game. That's two points. They won the first handicap game. That's another two points for a total of four points. Now, Voodoo, who just now you want to talk about a Greek church. There's a Greek church. Now, Voodoo won the last game, and they also won that game by more than what South Jersey Strike Force won in the first two games combined. Therefore, Voodoo right now has the overall wood. So technically, even though... South Jersey Strike Force has more games and they're up four to two. If the game ended after game one, Voodoo would have taken the match because they have more overall wood. So now what what the Strike Force has to do is they've got to not only win more games, they've got to win more games and take more wood and see more of five zero, really? You just missed the drill sergeant from South Jersey Strike Force just pick up a seven ten. How rare is that? That's really nice. That's a nice pickup. You've got action all over the place here. You have stuff going on all over the place here. And it's really good for that. However, it also looks like Voodoo is starting to get their strike game on over on Scratch. So right now you got five in a row by the Scratch Bowlers. This could be six right here. And now that I just focused on it, there's a split. I, I seem to be really good at this on focusing on streaks and then ending, seeing them being brutally ended. See, here's what you all are missing. You got a lot of noise coming from balls to the wall. Okay? But he's looking like he bought his game out of a dollar store. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, 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 can't, you can't bring that out here. You, no. this, look, this is the UBA, okay? It's UBA all day. Okay, we know everybody's not gonna be throwing strikes. However, if you come out here with a dollar store game, expect to be run over. Or expect to be bought out early at Walmart. You, if you go to the dollar store, you ain't got money to go to Walmart. That's true too. So right now there is noise, oh my goodness. There is noise that's coming out, it's coming out from the South, from Voodoo until, well, there, there's another mixer from Gritty. He's taking his name back. Gritty wants to try to take his name back. All of a sudden, Scratch is now back and forth. It's now South Jersey Strike Force. Them some strikes over here. And yeah, maybe I should just stop talking about people that are on strings because there's another one that's just went bye bye to the great garbage and cheese. I am the dark cloud. So, so right now, if we really, if we really want to do this, let, let's focus over here, because on the middle pair, there's only one bowler left that has the chance of perfection. That, that, that's going over, and it's not the Huntress, even though that she's up at this moment. And Voodoo right now looking to claw into all three games. This is, again, the same point that South Jersey Strike Force was in game one where they took all, where it looked like they were going to take all three. And, yep, Grim Reaper with a 10 pin. And that ends that streak. The Grim Reaper looked like he threw that last strike with a wedgie. Wedgie Reaper. All right, so now here's Voodoo. So tell me about the guy that's coming up here for Voodoo right now. Which, which lane? Uh, right now in the uh, in the middle pair. In in the middle pair, I believe that is Sledge. You better believe it's Sledge. Sledge, Sledge right now has got the front four. That's why we're going to focus on him a little bit. Got a chance at five, and he would be the only bowler at this point that's got the front five over here. Now that I have mentioned that, do you think he's going to get the strike, or am I once again going to do damage? No, you have no effect on him. I have no effect on him? No. None so ever? No. I hope so for his case, because right now Voodoo's coming on a run you over the handicap pair, and it looks like they're going to close, they're, they're looking to close out that 35-pin deficit. You don't, see, you don't understand. Sledge is immune to your nonsense. Sledge okay. is a new... You have no effect on him. Balls to the wall has no as is, is very affected by your nonsense because he just left the six eight. That, what I tell you about them dollar store games? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? So you got the Dollar Tree and the dollar store up there is what it's you're saying. Fire, it's a fire sale. You know why? Because it's got no quality. 
Yeah, right, right now, Voodoo looks like they're in the position to take control in game two. Going back over here on Sledge. Going over here on Sledge, he's got the front four, looking to get the front five. Here we go. Even the drunk unicorn's getting into it. At this point, Sledge right now, looking for five. Okay, now explain to me what Jerabir means while waiting on Sledge to set up. His name is Jeremy Dempster. So basically, it's an amalgamation of his first name and the fact that he is a bear. Yeah, and uh, so Sledge just shot and left the four pin, and I, I thought I had no effect on Sledge. You don't. So what was that? That's, that's part of his game. Part of his game is to intentionally leave the four pin. He, he, he lets you in before he turns around and puts his fingers around your throat. So, so he's luring South Jersey strike force to a false sense of security. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what you need to know. Okay, well, right right now, Gritty had a mixer. He's looking for another mixer. And then uh, we're going to start focusing on Scratch. They're looking at the end of game two right now. Gritty's looking for a mixer right here for double use. That wasn't a mixer, but that was a solid double right there. He says he doesn't, he says he doesn't even watch Nickelodeon. He doesn't know about that slime. Oh, that, that was good slime. Gak, I remember Gak. Oh, absolutely. I think it was made of applesauce, I think. Hey, Sheldon got another strike. Sheldon with another strike. He's on, he's, got a, he's on a triple right now. Well, he's on a triple. They have four. However, Drunk Unicorn right now has a chance to cut that lead down. Uh, Drunk Unicorn, if my math is right, can cut this down to under 30 pins and start whacking away at that 35-pin wood that they have. This has got to be a strike in order for them to do that, though. He doesn't like the shot. And is that a mixer to get lucky? No, 8-pin. See, here, see, here's the thing. Even if you're not throwing strikes, if you're leaving yourself pins in a position for you to go ahead and make the spares, that's the ideal thing to do. Close the frame. You don't want to open the frame. Close the frame. Okay, okay right. Now, see, the drill sergeant in, in uh, two frames ago picked up a 710. Now he's got a 4 710. So this should be a little easier for him. Let's, let's, see, let's see if he can pick this up. Well, and he needs to because South Jersey had the lead going into the eighth frame. They no longer have it if he doesn't pick it, doesn't pick it up because you're looking at South Jersey. They've got that a spare and a strike, and you're looking at two strikes for Voodoo, which is two shots to take the lead over in scratch. Real Sergeant does not convert. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. But your game is show ice cold. But his game is sure ice cold. Your game is red hot right now, so I can't say your game. What we're doing is what we're doing up in here. Right right now, it, it looks like oh, wait, wait. made we the spare. T Immobile is on the lane. Okay? He's in, he's in competition. Well, T Immobile almost certainly needs to get a strike in right now. Now, who's the name of your guy over there on the other side? Hold on. Wait a minute. He didn't, he didn't pick it. You see, see, this is what I'm saying. That seven pin was immobile. T immobile, okay? Which means that he doesn't have 5G. He's only got 1G. Got 1G and he's out of range right now. He's out of, he's out of range. Your, your network has no signal. All right, so we're talking about Voodoo. Oh, there is, now you want to talk about a mix. Yeah. That was a mix and that mix will give Voodoo the lead. That, see that? That was, a, that was a strong mix. Oh, no. The Ripper left a split. Oh my God. That looked like some bad dental work over there. That's like Dracula. You know, you know Dracula, that, that new movie's coming out in April. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's, that's going to be good. Nicolas Cage playing Dracula. That is going to be very good. Now, the question is how many teeth can he collect? <laughs> and, and right now, Sledge, two straight, nine, two straight one pin spares to make. Now, watch the way he plays with his toys. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm telling you, your dark cloud has no effect. No effect on Sledge. No. No. Right now, my dark effect doesn't have my dark cloud effect doesn't have effect on anybody that's on a spare or just on one strike. Usually, it pays attention when there's a string. Yeah, out of the first five frames, he's got four strikes. Okay, you said you took away. You said you took away the other one. He came back with one. Now he's about to throw another one. I hope so. Look at him. I want to see good scores. Look. Nope. 
Exactly. And, and let's put it this way. If, if uh, well, nope, Sledge with a spare. Yep. So, and, and right now, uh, Drunk Unicorn's really drunken. Drinking. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Drinking, uh -oh. drunken. Uh-oh. So right right now the issue becomes at least in the, on the middle pair this is sort of tight. Voodoo still has to start chopping into that lead because again if they if they uh, just exchange marks and strikes without Voodoo making moves, South Jersey just on the handicap is going to win that game. Now we're looking here over at the scratch side. Do, do, do you understand what you're looking at? I understand what I'm looking at. What's going to end up happening is see 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 now that grim reaper and then turn around and put that claw in that machine and came up empty again empty yet again he's he's what, you know what's going to happen well you're for voodoo's to, sake no, no, they no. better make this no 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 you're, okay. try, you're, you're trying to play the game for free it don't work that way their captain has to put a quarter in his ass in order to grab something yeah well right right now drunk unicorn uh grab something he grabbed a strike and right now, Black Man almost with the spare. Did not get the spare. Green Reaper looking for his own spare. He got it. So now all of a sudden, so it looks like now Strike Force once again building on that lead. Now wait, four wait, to wait, two. Wait, 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 wait. Got balls to the walls. He's getting ready to go up to the lane now. <laughs> that 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 we, that's your that's that's your favorite person to torment right no, we, now. No, we're gonna find we're gonna find out. If he actually put in the call to Bishop Eddie Long, you know, down in the ATL. All right, let me let me see if I can get uh, Mr. Ace Hole over here to get the overall wood. Ace Hole. Ace Hole. Yes, sir. Can I see your sheet, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Ace Hole, the captain of Voodoo, and one of the presidents. And oh my goodness. That's right. Three in a row for Jer Bear. And, and right now, that's what Voodoo needs. But Jer Bear is going to need some help here. Because right now, you got a ripper that's not ripping. And you got a whole bunch of red numbers. And now we got a bucket. And balls to the walls just went to KFC and got a bucket of chicken. That's what that is. So right now, if people are looking for specific numbers, Voodoo won the scratch by 19. That's right. The biscuits are ready. They ain't got no butter, though. Just dry biscuits. I don't know what sort of biscuits we have and here, a but strike by the ripper. A strike by the see, see when you stand up to your name, this is what happens. Well, right now he's ripping. So right now scratch side. Right now it looks like Voodoo is up by fifteen. As we go in, as we go in the tenth frame. Uh -oh, so, oh, uh -oh. is that a five pin up there? Oh, that that looks like a five pin. Oh, hold on, I want you to understand. Okay. I'm putting my hand up. Uh oh, yeah, I got to put my hand up also. I'm putting my hand up. We did not put our hand up the first time around when we saw the first five That's pin. Okay, we were warming up. Oh wait, we got another. Oh, we got hands up. We got, we got, hand, got hand. Oh, there's another one. I wonder if Al Calderon was going to be putting up his hand up on the five pin. Al Calderon is the district manager. He also happens to be a member of uh, one of the teams that's currently bowling, that's Voodoo. So we're gonna see right now what's going on. Meanwhile, Drill Sergeant, desperately needed to strike, doesn't get it, leaves it, leaves a pin up there. Are we gonna see a five pin make? Yes, we are. If, if he didn't make it, that could be problems. Yeah, something like that. So right now we're going in. Going into the 10th frame, it looks like Voodoo is going to hold on on the scratch side. And right now, so, right now at this point, Drill, drill Sergeant not doing much on the drilling side. And actually, Strike Force not doing much on the striking side. There's a chance that nobody on Strike Force is going to break 200 on that scratch pair. Terrible. Terrible. Cletus Barkley. Spoken. Terrible. Ex explain this to me, because I, I know that you're familiar with Royal Lanes. You're a scratch pair. How exactly are none of you going to be shooting 200 on the scratch pair? It's just terrible. You have an outside shot of somebody. 
hitting 200. But e even, that, even that's Chuck, how you do not win scratch matches. Even Chuck said they're going to be eating churros. Yipes. Well, well right now, Voodoo's going to extend their lead over on the scratch side. Right now, well, they doing are. doing a lot of begging over there. Well, they, they are doing a lot of begging right now. They're making a lot of spare, well, Voodoo's making a lot of spare shooting. Strike Force is starting to strike on the handicap sides. Now they've got an issue on the strat side. Is, 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 that, a, is that a dingle? We, that we have a that, dingle. A, we have a dingle. Is that, is that a dingle? We have a dingle sighting. That is Jonathan Dansbury over here. Well, well right, right, right now, now, now here's a question. Jonathan Dansbury is part of All In. And right now, All In is bowling against Hell Yeah. So here's the question. Voodoo is doing their job. The question is, is All In doing your job? So we are up four two in points. Okay. Down 10 pins in wood after game one. Very close to what we have over here. So yeah, our last hit, our second handicap pair lost by 60. The other two pairs combined for 50 in win. So close match start. Uh, when I was last down there, my the one handicap pair that lost, they had uh, a couple of four baggers going halfway through game two, so they were off to a good start, good lead there. I don't know what they're doing now because Rudy uh, kidnapped me, and we have slowly traveled down this way. <laughs> you're, you're currently being kidnapped by Rudy Feliciano. So anyway, I will I will release you so Rudy can continue having you. Afterwards, we're good. Okay, I'll see if he lives up to that. Meanwhile, this match is living up to what it's supposed to be living up to. I, I, I want y'all to understand something. I am an entrepreneur, and what I need to do is open a bowling insurance company. Uh, Mr. Mr. Dingle, Mr. Dingle, I, I, I need I need to speak to balls to the wall, sir. Uh oh. Are you interested in buying a policy for your bowling game? As I know before you went up two frames ago, I saw you put Bishop Eddie Long on speed dial. However, no. You did not look for a prayer. You look for something else. Right now, just pointing out a little fact here, while Cletus is dressing down ball to the wall, out of all the bowlers that are here, there's only one bowler in this game that has only one strike. And that would be the aforementioned balls to the wall. It, it, it's not good. See, see, that, see that, that's what I'm saying. Um, uh, Mr. Balls to the wall, do you need for us to send somebody out to go pick your game up and bring it in here? See, there's nothing. There's nothing you can say at this point. See what you what you need to understand is we at this at this point we're in the discovery part of this trial, okay? And we've got all your information and you can't lie. Okay? You cannot lie. So tell the people the truth. Tell them the truth. Shame the devil. I am not ready. I'm not ready. I need to interrupt the sermon momentarily. We got a five bin up here. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we're interrupting the sermon for, for two things. Number one, uh, Voodoo all over the place in terms of scratch. They now have a decent-sized lead on the wood, and I believe they're going to win that one by around 60. Second of all, we had a fine pin sighting. However, that was picked up, and I believe it was one of the Reapers. Yes, it was. It was a regular Reaper, not a Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper and Gritty need to go chat with Balls to the Wall at this moment because... Uh, I, I'm not sure if anybody's ready at this moment. Me, meanwhile, Jeff is holding on. He's pulling something out of his pocket. It could be one of those bowling cards or, or a coin. Uh, Jeff is flipping a coin. Why are you flipping a coin, Cletus? I'm not flipping a coin. You need this. You That's a quarter. Need, you, you need, like I said, you need this. you got to find a public telephone somewhere, I think. It's not even about a public telephone. Internet? Not even about internet. What's it about? I told you. You cannot put the claw in that machine without a quarter in the slot. Claws are expensive now. You need dollars, no, not quarters. No. You need like a good two to three bucks. I'm not, look, I'm not overspending. No, I'm not overspending. I know what I need. Well, they, they need the one that says winner guaranteed every time, so you spend the two to three dollars for that one. Not going to happen. No? Not going to happen. All right, 
Well, uh, what's also not going to happen right now, well, actually, it did happen. We have another strike from Balls to the Wall. Maybe he needed that sermon. Maybe he did. However, what he also needs is some help because all of a sudden, here comes Voodoo. Voodoo right now, they're, they're front and second bowler, both with three in a row. You want to put this in the offering? Gritty right now, five in a row, and in order to stem the tide from Voodoo right now, it's almost mandatory that he gets six in a row because his two compadres, Balls to the Wall and Grim Reaper, uh, combined do not hit 300. And is he going to get the draw? Oh! He trips it. Six in a row for Gritty, and he is the only reason right now while South Jersey Strike Force is remotely in this match. He tripped the pin forward, so he must have some union workers in the back. So right now, Gritty, with in, in the eight, he's got six in a row, seven out of the first eight, which is great. The only problem is, is that the other two bowlers in the seventh frame, their scored is a combined, correct me if I'm wrong with the math here, 258 by two bowlers combined. That traditionally does not win games in the UBA. Absolutely not. But that black man made his present felt again. Well, right, right now, Voodoo has got five marks coming up here. They need a mark over here from the Grim Reaper. At least he made something makeable. Five to four, at least the at least they'll be up by 25 going into the ninth frame. A miss here, and then all of a sudden it's less than 20. And keep in mind, Voodoo's got all the strikes at this point. You got that right. Here it comes. So right now, this is strike force in the first handicap pair. Right now, is holding on to run a 40-pin lead. And, and a lot of that has got to do with Sheldon, because Sheldon, as much as you've been picking on him, Sheldon's figured it out. Seven out of the front eight has been strike, nine spare. I mean, him and Gritty right now, strike, not strike, and then the next six. Look, ball Get something out. See, I know oh, he had to put some chitlin juice on, on it. Chitlin juice on it. I heard you up there speaking in tongues. Shamala Haya, Shamala It should have been a Honda. <laughs> All right, so balls to the wall, and that's a huge double because now it forces Voodoo to start throwing some marks. This is almost sort of like a reverse of what happened in game one, and if that's the case, then we're, then we're looking at 6-6. Six, six. Right now, there's Gritty, and that was not a mixture at all. That was buried seven in a row for Gritty. He's locked in. That was a, that was a strong strike right there. That, that was a strike force right yeah, there. Yeah, me, meanwhile, speaking of strike force, here's Sheldon. Well, that ended that. No, he's, he's done. He's he, done. He, he's done. And, and now the issue becomes, in looking at Marks, you have a strike, an open, and you have Sheldon. Meanwhile, assuming that a spare is made over here, and it is, you have the drunk unicorn with a strike over here. will not only have a four-bagger, but all of a sudden now, that will be under a 10-point game. A 10 pin game. Grim Reaper's got a strike. I told you. It was all about that quarter. That's what it is. It was about that quarter. Sorry, sorry. Found something in the skill crane. Absolutely. Found something there. Now let's let's see what we have over here. Drunk Unicorn. Again, a strike over here. It looks like they're they're down by 42, but they're not. They're down a lot. I'm sorry. They're down by 72. They're down by a lot less. A strike makes it 42, and then a two, two no run makes it 22 on the 42 mark run that they're going to have going in the 10th if he strikes, which he will not. I was about to say which he will. He doesn't. 10 pin up there. Yeah, that was a little tight right there. You know, that was, that 10 pin was probably nailed down. Well, that, that's a huge, huge non-strike because now at least South Jersey Strike Force has a little bit of a cushion going into the 10th frame on the first handicap. And now all of a sudden they have that same cushion in the second handicap. Now this is what South Jersey Strike Force needed to do. They needed to not only win, but win by a big margin. And they're threatening to do that in both handicaps, which means they'll take the overall wood. That is exactly what they needed. Obviously, Voodoo doesn't want that. And more importantly, Voodoo, if Voodoo's looking to win the game, they've got to get the overall wood over here. It's starting to look like a 22-18 game. It is starting to look like that. And Voodoo doesn't mind that. South Jersey Strike Force does. 22-18 for them. You may as well chalk it up as a loss. No bueno. Caliente basura. Yeah, caliente basura, a.k.a. hot garbage. Ripper right now with the spare. And black man right now. The, is it the black man? D.A. black man. 
Da Black Man, which again is written on his jersey. Da Black Man desperately needs a strike here to at least stem the tide, at least make this manageable. Uh, if he doesn't, or if he opens, that opens the gates for a huge tidal wave of strikes in the 10th frame. Oh, and that's no good. And again, right now they've got no strikes going in the 10th frame. They've got two spares. Everyone on South Jersey Strike Force is on a strike or a double going into the 10th. This is exactly what Voodoo did not want, which is a potential blowout coming out. See, why, why are you putting the dark cloud over Voodoo? I'm not putting the dark not, cloud over you're anybody. I'm not, not putting the dark cloud over South Jersey Strike Force. I'm just explaining what's going on here. Well, right. What's going on here is you're, you're handicapping one team over another. I am not. I am just explaining the relative points of this game. And right now the relative points of this game is that Huntress is looking for a spare on the middle pair, and she will get it. That was a big spare because, again, South Jersey Strike Force right now, uh, they've got to hold on to a, now it's a 14-pin lead. Because, again, now Voodoo, again, they, they got a chance here. It's going to be, now you need your buddy Sledge to start throwing strikes here and go out the door, and you need the Drunk Unicorn. You need both of them to go out, and you need a mistake by South Jersey Strike Force, or at least non-strikes by the Strike Force. See, I didn't handicap. Well, there was a huge strike from Jerry Bear. However, here's balls to the wall with a chance to not only end this one, but all of a sudden make a huge wood count for South Jersey Strike Force. Hunter still finished out with 183. Staying steady. Sure is. Balls to the wall, looking for another strike. And I haven't seen Cleta say anything, which means that's got to be another strike, and it is. Strike there, and all of a sudden, that game is over. It's time to pour it on. Let's go over to the middle pair. And it is still a 20-something pin game. Nobody on strikes. So now, again, Sledge and the Unicorn have got to go out, and they're going to need some help. And that is not help. Or well, that, that's help for South Jersey Strike Force. You got a Jer Bear open right there. And right now, you need a strike from, strike from Sledge. And you got it. Oh yeah. That's so it's the good there. Well you gotta you gotta cut it down. Again, if he can if he can go out the door and he gets an open, then all of a sudden this game becomes winnable. And that that's a crappy mess from from Boss to the Walls, but it looks good. All of a sudden, you know what? That that preacher thing, that that helped out. You did that to him and all of a sudden he's gonna have maybe five in a row. That's what I do. I'm a shaman. I'm not sure if that's a person you wanted to shamanize. Uh, absolutely not. No, nah, I didn't think so. All right, Sledge needs another one, and he gets it. Now this becomes a little bit interesting. Actually, becomes very interesting. Now we got a Reaper. Reaper now all of a sudden has got to get at least a mark. If he doesn't get at least a mark over here, this becomes real tight. Now you're looking at a less than 10 pin game. All right, here comes Reaper coming out, looking for the strike. That did not sound good. That's, that's good. Oh, right, you got a lot of nine out of that. That didn't sound good. It's to me, he made it. Because balls to the walls, balls to the walls look like he put some orthotics on his bowling game. Balls got to the walls. <laughs> he's, he's got some prosthetic Chetlin juice going on. Meanwhile, Gritty, if he goes out the door, He's looking at a 264 if he goes all the way. And and this went from, again, the Strike Force has figured out some stuff over here in game two. Because it went from mixing to what the hell did you do, and all of a sudden, lots of strikes. Reaper right now is looking to make that six pin. We're going back and forth here that between both handicap right matches. That Sledge right there, you better recognize. Sledge has struck, Sledge oh. has struck out. Oh. Right now, it is a two pin game. Gritty, uh, that Gritty just got tight. Well, game's over there, but the question now becomes overall wood. Overall wood's big, but you're right, though. The fact that Gritty did that, they really could have taken a lead on the wood, and they haven't. Big spare the from Reaper. Ripper. You got a Reaper and a Ripper. Ripper. Big strike from Ripper, big spare from Reaper. Now, basically, what that means is that South Jersey Strike Force in the middle pair has got a little bit of breathing room. Sheldon, right now, all Sheldon needs is a mark, and they will win that game. Of course, if Sheldon opens and the Dark Unicorn strikes out, then that's a game for Voodoo. 
Gritty right now making the spare. He can go out again. That's that's huge. Got a 240 and counting. Okay, big strike from Sheldon. He, I'm sorry, big strike from Reaper. He finishes with a 204. Sheldon's up. Again, a good mark from Sheldon with good count. And South Jersey Strike Force will take both handicap matches. And then we'll be tied six apiece. Correct. And again, depending on the wood, South Jersey Store may have the wood by a little bit. Not by much. Definitely, certainly, Voodoo can certainly grab that wood. All right, looking on the fill ball for Gritty. There's a strike. All right, so Grim Reaper is up to add some wood. So they've already got the game. The game's out. Now they're looking to add some wood. That's the third hand. That's the third pair. Second pair. The game is anything but out. That first strike from the drunk unicorn. Oh, look, at, look, at, look at the black man. Look at the black man. Oh, that's a good strike right there. He's cutting down hey, the hey, wood. Hey, you hey, got to hey, cut down the wood. That's and, important. And I'm not even a Karen. How about that? That was cold. That's incorrect, but cold. Anyway, we need. Oh, oh Sheldon gets a strike. That's game for South Jersey. So the drunk unicorns drunkenly playing around with Sheldon. However, he knows. Uh, he knows with that, even if he goes out the door, Sheldon needs eight pins and two balls. And unless he, uh, unless the Episcopalian ch Church comes down and says hi, he's going to get it. Drunk unicorn right now, looking to get a strike to at least force him to do something. And he does not, and that that will be game. So that will be two games out of the three for South Jersey Strike Force, and now we're tied at six. Sort of expected this going back and forth, right? Not really, but I'll take that. But you sort of prefer Voodoo going 12 and 0 at this moment. No, no, no. I, I like I like six six. You know, because at that point, now you're going to have to fight. Yep. Now we're going to go and we're going to separate the little lion cubs from actually the, the full bore bull lions. The reapers from the rippers. The, the reapers from the rippers. And they got two reapers, so. And you got one ripper. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a handicap match. Could be a handicap match two on one. Right now, it is it's being controlled, but it is WrestleMania weekend. Actually, the first night's tonight. Ring of Honor is this weekend. All sorts of stuff oh, this weekend. Green now, Reaper just got another, got another piece of equipment. Oh. He goes, meanwhile, let's go look while the... Well, the 10 frames are going down. Let's look at the scratch pair because right now it has been all voodoo. Going over here, voodoo already up by around 30. Have a chance for more because South Jersey Strike Force has gone to the land of the red numbers. Oh, it helped. It helped. So going over there, we've got two opens already. And it, it looks like, again, we, we've got some uh, problems over for South Jersey Strike Force. Now, wait a second. So Cletus. Cletus. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the scratch here. Right now, Voodoo is now taking the lead. Usually it's South Jersey Strike Force that starts out strong. Not this time. Voodoo has got the lead, and South Jersey Strike Force uh, is not throwing strikes. I, to I told you that, didn't I? You did tell me that. That's right. I'm a, I'm a so. prognosticator. Aha. Uh -huh. Scratch down 63. Thank you, sir. Handicap 1 up 23. Handicap 2 up 44, making us up 4 right now overall. Uh, that is correct, sir. That is, that is what we call tight. So, uh, Sheldon, one more time for the mic. I'm not sure if I picked it up. I'm sorry? I'm not sure if I picked up what you said, so talk in the mic for me, please. So right now our scratch pair is down 63. Handicap 1 is up 23. Handicap 2 up 44, making the total match right now us up 4. And I believe it's 6-6 six, six in terms of the score right now, correct? Correct. So there we go. Thank you, Sheldon. You got it. This is going to be tight, and right now... Voodoo is looking to at least get some power going on in the scratch. Again, though, what is important? As we've said all the times that Cletus has said, miss spares, miss opportunities by both teams. It's going to bite somebody today. The question just becomes whom? Listen, any, anybody can put garlic mash on the plate, but will it taste good? That's the question. Right now it's tasting really good for Voodoo. Right now, and I'm gonna, if you can't see what the scoring's looking like uh, on lane two, I'll tell you right now, uh, you have two bowlers. Actually, you have a total, I should say, of 10 strikes in four frames. And on the other side, South Jersey Strike Force has got six and two opens. They, they have two opens 
versus Voodoo's no opens. So this is threatening to be a Voodoo route on the scratch side. If that happens, then that's going to help out on the handicap side because right now South Jersey's Strike Force has controlled the handicap side. All right, so the Huntress has just said she wants to reclaim that left side just through a strike. The thing is, at this point, do we care? Uh, we absolutely do care because, again, every, every pin counts. Right, right now, it's a four-pin game. There's nothing against her. you got to stack it up. Do we care if it's not stacked up? We don't yet. For, so right now, we're like, oh, my goodness. Well, right, right now, Ace Hole is starting to chant Tim Finn at strike, strike Force. Meanwhile, uh, Jared Barrett has left both the 10 and the 9. That, now we're getting loud here. Listen, it's sort of like working inventory at White Castles. You know what time it is. Get your, get your stuff ready because you need home field advantage after that. Right now we got some good home cooking. Well, Laurel Lanes, that's not really a home house to anybody, is it? Say it again? Laurel Lanes, it's not really a home house for anybody, is it? No. I'm going to say, I, I know it's definitely not Voodoo's, and I think South Jersey Strike Force is not either. It's, it's a post up. See, you know what happened? Balls to the walls. He didn't figure out the shot, but what he did was he put some Vaseline on his head. That's what he wanted. I think balls to the wall is inspired by you. A little bit more down lane roll. That's what it is. A little more down lane roll. He's, he's wiping the chitlin juice off his head. We have, we have to call the umpires to go in and check his, check his glove. Yeah, you, you got enough chitlin juice down there, right? He says, yes. He's, he's smiling at you now. He's, he's giving you the point. Smile. The chitlin juice, you put the stink on it. That's what it is. Oh, it's stinky chitlin juice. That's why he's wiping out, apparently. So right now, balls to the wall starts with a strike. Jerry Bear starts with an open. Gritty. Yeah, Gr Gritty's coming out with the strikes. Well, Sledge is there. That's Meanwhile, it. we got an open on the side for the Strike Force. There's got to be a lot of loud noise going on here. And through Strike Force, here's the issue. Right now, Strike Force oh. is getting threatened. Whipper with the messenger. And right now, Jay Smooth over at Voodoo's looking for the front five right now. And he got it. Jay Smooth right now for Voodoo, and all of a sudden, Voodoo is turning it on. They're up by 80 just on that. However, with the extra strikes coming, and they're going to be over 100. So that means that's a message to South Jersey Strike Force, meaning if they lose by that much, they've got to win by that much on both handicap pairs. Right, so what we got right now is you got the captain, Sheldon, came up short, okay? And you got the Grim Reaper turning around with a bad dental plan with a split. This that is, is a, a very bad dental plan is, right there. Go Four nine is a bad dental plan. There we go. There we go. That's that Sorry, drunk, that, that's a drunk unicorn. That is the drunk unicorn. Using his horn to magically get all the ten pins. Oh, uh, the Al Oh wait, wait. Let, let, so basically, the drunk unicorn said the liquor has kicked in. No, no. So. The swing right has kicked in. Okay, the swing, swing right has kicked in. We are not. Advocating for alcohol consumption while you're bowling. It's the swing right. No. For the kids looking at home, get you some Gatorade. The drunk on Gatorade unicorn. It's a Gatorade. Okay, so the Gatorade unicorn with a strike, which is good. The black man with a spare. And right now, again, it, this is a nine pin game over here. Now. That's the name on the back of his jersey. That's the name of his jersey. <laughs> we're, we're, okay, okay. Gritty's turning around and going, what, you said the black man. What, what, what are you guys doing over here? That is the name of the jersey. We are calling out the jersey names of the bowlers. We do not mean you, Gritty. You have your own, you have your own jersey. And, and, and right now, if we're going to call him anything, it's going to be the mixer. Again, nice 264. Now, now, that being said, Balls to the Wall is looking to expand their lead over there. Hey, it's another Huntress five pin. Has a five pin. Huntress has got a five pin. She, now, five pin. she does have a five pin. Huntress has got a five pin. Balls to the Wall is looking for a double, and he doesn't get it. We have an all no. We got one. Now, let's see if Huntress makes her five pin. If she does, no problem. If she doesn't, well, it's going to get really loud. Especially because Voodoo all of a sudden is starting to get really loud, especially on that strike side. So we're going to see right now, will she make the five pin or will we have Havoc over here in Laurel Lanes in lanes three and four? 
Uh, nobody's saying anything, so it looks like she got it. She did. You can always tell whether or not somebody has it or doesn't have it when you're uh, when they throw it. If it's quiet, it's like, oh, okay, you got it. So balls right now with the spare. Voodoo right now is starting to open up. That's no good because, again, Voodoo's got to hold serve here. They cannot lose by the same amount they're winning on scratch. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh. Sledge just that was, over like he had easy pass on that the, the sledge just did not hammer the pins. He used like a little mini pickaxe. But that looks good over there. All of a sudden, okay, so anyway, on the scratch side, uh, Voodoo has stopped striking, except a smooth. However, they're still up by over 100 pins at that point. And that's going to be important to look at because, again, with the wood being four pins, South Jersey Strike Force has got to make up the difference or they're going to lose the match. And right now, with the, with the Reaper leaving the 4-6-7, that's not looking very good over there. Oh, no, the, Reaper, the Reaper's got a split. He's running, out of, he's running out of energy. Somebody get him some Glucerna. Glucerna? Uh, it's, oh, well, Mixer right now is looking for a Glucerna on that two pin. The two pin didn't fall. All right, Re Reaper with the open. All the shell so Sheldon's got to right the ship here because it's starting to look like the Drunk Unicorn and company are starting to find strikes. If they do that, then it really doesn't matter what happens on that second handicap pair, except the Drunk Unicorn sort of left the 3610. Or the, the Gatorade Unicorn. Like maybe he needs to switch his name to Gatorade Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, another voodoo strike on the scratch. Jay Smooth to front six. Okay, Jay Smooth saying, let's go. Jay Smooth's got a reason for it. He's on the front six. Right now, we haven't really focused on it. You know I'm going to when we get into the seventh frame. So, uh, Greedy just picked up that spare, and he's looking at his hands as if he just bought them. What's going to end up happening is he's probably going to have to take them back because he only got a 30-day warranty on them. That's good for the 264. He got good use out of them. Now, let's see what the Grim Reaper does. Because right now, I see doubles on all three pair for Voodoo, and obviously the six-bagger over from Jay Smooth. So South Jersey Storm has got to stop the bleeding over here, because right now they have six, but none of that is uh, uh Well, I was going to say, uh-oh, another five pin. It's not. But right now, South Jersey only has six points. More importantly, they don't have a huge advantage on the wood. So if Voodoo runs across them, they're only going to take six points. And that, again, as we said it earlier in the broadcast, South Jersey Strike Force right now is in seventh. They cannot afford to take a horrible loss. If they go 34-6, that would be a horrible loss. That would effectively end their season. So right now, looking over the scratch pair, Voodoo is doing their thing. Oh my goodness. Was that a head pin? Oh no, he just clipped that out there. He clipped the eight, he left the five pin, yeah. So that is deep trouble for the South Jersey Strike Force, and right now they're in trouble in all three pairs. Here's Jay Smooth. Let's go over here. Jay Smooth, seventh frame coming up. He's looking for seven in a row. I'm gonna see right now, hanging out, waiting for him to do that. Again, that is the last chance of anybody shooting a 300 in this pair in this match. If not, then it's Powers of the Dark Cloud have did their job. Dun dun dun. He's, he's stunned. And in this next episode. Exactly, in the next episode. Huntress is looking to make the spare. She oh. won't do it. That's now, again, a whole bunch of red numbers in South Jersey Strike Force already being battered by over 100 pins in the strike, and they're running out of frames. Cannot repeat, cannot afford to get strangled on in either the handicap pair. All of a sudden now, uh, South Jersey Strike Force showing signs of life. Uh, Shane O'Mata coming up now, looking to at least do something and cut the wood down, but it's it's almost almost way too little too late here. As again, they're in the seventh frame. Jay Smooth has got the front six. South Jersey Strike Force is running out of frames. Meanwhile, we have a 7-10 on Voodoo. Reedy's fingers are not working anymore. Well, they're not, and the Jerry Bear's got an issue as well. We gotta go and get that EKG. KG meme. Find out what's going on, see if there's any pulse in those fingers. We're going to look. We're going to see if there's pulse in the fingers. We're going to also see if there's pulse uh, looking at the perfect game right now. You know, right now he's throwing it like as if he needs somebody to go ahead and get him a case of new, uh, new Revo. Well, right right oh. now, oh, we, we've got that. What, oh. new, 
I think. Uh, did you say New Reaper? I thought you said New Reaper. Said new Reaper. Yeah, but now you got New Reaper. Yes. Reaver may, may need some New Reaper as well. So here we go. We've got the front six here. Jay Smooth's coming up, looking for seven. See if we can get the front seven. If we can. Here we go. Let's see. There's a shot. Looks good. No seven pin. All right. No, it's 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 there. But again, the uh, they've locked the door after the boys. Of course, they've eaten the children from South Jersey Strike Force. Me meanwhile, any anything you want to say about the dark cloud again? No. Because every time I do, it gives you it gives you light. And when I say it gives you light, it makes you even darker. Well, we we've got we've got yeah we 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 we've got a, a new Eva, a, a Reaper that opened, and a Green Reaper who just left something really, really grim. This is not good. This is not good. Hold on one second. Your brother needs you. He needs a lot of fucking mental help, too. Oh, he needs mental help. We're not, well, we're not going there. We're not going there right now. Green Reaper. Oh, almost made the spare. Almost. So, anyway, right, right now, South Jersey Strike Force needs to throw a lot of strikes but right now it is voodoo that's throwing the strikes black man right now can not only destroy the handicap which they just did all of a sudden now they went from being down that's nine the there's the black man that's from being black. down nine to being up 24 oh, and room to move that's that black man. voodoo right now up by a lot and now all of a sudden south jersey strike force is dealing with one two three a whole bunch of opens. Yeah. Could be a squeeze right now. Could be very much a squeeze. Balls as well as right now. He's got to start. Somebody has got to start igniting something somewhere for South Jersey Strike Force. Because right now they're staring at 30. They're staring at 34 to 6 at this moment. So and the, the only shot that they have here is they need Jer Jerber to keep shooting opens. And Gritty right now is waving his hand, maybe for support, maybe for hope. Oh, he's got it. There's a double all the way for both the wall. Again, you've inspired him. No, I didn't. Cletus has inspired balls to the wall. I have, I have not inspired balls to the wall. Hey, uh, balls to the wall is feel. Are you inspired by Cletus right now? Is that again? Are you inspired by Cletus? Absolutely. He's inspired you, Cletus. Thank you. Sir. No, what it, what it is, he. No, he, he, I think the problem is you need to give chitlin juice to the other two members of your team. What happened was he asked for a chitlin juice centrum smoothie. <laughs> a chitlin juice centrum smoothie is is that is that copy in the trademark? Absolutely. There you go. Let, let's see if Grit, Gritty is Gritty's made a ball change and there's another mixer. So right right now, the South Jersey Strike Force, at least on this pair, has got a little bit of life going on. Uh, they're they're running out of life on the other two pairs. So because again, even even now that South Jersey Strike Force is now once again entering the ran, land of the red numbers on the scratch. So uh, yipes. And speaking of yipes, well, there's another one. Except that one's coming from your buddy Sledge. Oh wait, he was on the front three also. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, he likes to play with his food. Yeah. And what you said earlier, mastication. Mastication. Chew it up, feed it to the kids. Uh, it looks like the Voodoo is going to be feeding heavily right now at this moment. If you just joined, it was a close match, 6-6. The wood was a difference of four pins going into game three. But right now in the scratch time, Voodoo is going to be up by over 130 pins. And so that's over there. Voodoo has taken away the handicap on both on both handicap lanes right now. And again, if Voodoo wins all of them and Voodoo takes all the points, it's 34 6, which will effectively end South Jersey Strikes Force's season. Turn out the lights. The party's over. I don't know to, if it's over yet, but you're bringing out the noisemakers at this moment. So Cletus has got noisemakers. the champagne bottle, girls. Well, so black man right now has got a six pin. 
right now that's that's the only game right now that is sort of kind of in doubt at this point uh keep in mind there are still in fourth frame in the handicap side so there is plenty of time to strike back for south jersey strike for us however there's two issues here number one they got to win the game number two they now have to win the game looking at the scratch side they now got to win the game by close to 150 pins between both handicaps that is a very tall order, and if you look at the chances where South Jersey Strike Force had a chance, especially at the beginning of game one, to enforce their will over Voodoo, at the end of this, they really gotta be looking at themselves saying, look at everything that has elapsed that all of a sudden that we couldn't handle. Just can't do it, can't do it. Oh, okay, all right. So right. That drunk unicorn just missed his spare. Two opens for a row for the drunk unicorn. He needs to go find some additional wildlife somewhere. Yep, Sheldon back in the game. Again, as we were saying, South Jersey Strike Force has got some has, has got some maneuvers that they need to make. Because again, just winning the games is not enough. They have to, have to start making up that difference on the scratch side. And now all of a sudden, not only is it gonna be over 150, Voodoo has a chance as Jay Smooth goes up against Tia Mobile. Uh, Voodoo has a chance to get the scratch of that game over 200 pins. Oh, yeah. Jeff, what's going on over here? Cletus. It's Cletus. Withdrawal. They're withdrawing. The withdrawal. That's what it is. They're withdrawing the tuition money right now. About to take it dead out of that ass. But right, right now, Shane O'Matic has got to not like what he's seeing at this moment. Shane O'Matic right now has got three strikes. The, the, whole, the whole South Jersey Strike Force team, whoops, the whole South Jersey Strike Force team has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 strikes total. And if Jay Smooth goes out, Jay Smooth from one bowler is gonna match what all three bowlers are doing. That's right now at this point. So, I mean, Shane O'Matic right now uh, leaves the 2-8. Jay Smooth right now looking for potential 279. Nope, 7 pin. Why is it that every time I focus on him, he leaves a 7 pin? What's up with that? That means you need to shut your mouth and know your role. You call me a jabroni? That's right. Okay. It doesn't matter what I'm going to Yeah, well, jabroni right now is, is looking at the fact that Voodoo is getting a little bit sloppy. And South Jersey Strike Force, now all of a sudden they have a chance on the handicap side because Voodoo has just now forgotten what a strike looks like. But they figured out what the little horizontal dashes look like, and, and that does not help your score. Got a chance. Uh, yep. And, and that's a problem because, again, South Jersey Strike Force has got a lot that they need to take over, and that does not help for the Grim Reaper. We, we, we thought Sheldon was back in the game. He's just perpetrating the fraud right now. Sheldon right now as a, oh, raising one, nope, got one. So Drill Sergeant right now, the only person, uh, once again, we're talking South Jersey Strike Force, who really are just shooting themselves. The Drill Sergeant right now is the only bowler that can shoot a 200 on the scratch side. And again, that usually does not win you games on the scratch side. Usually that means you're gonna get blown up by over 200 pins. The other two bowlers, if they strike out, will go up with a 183 and a 186, which is uh, yipes. So the, I, I don't know what to tell you, uh, Cletus, but uh, hey, 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 hey. No bueno. Yeah, no bueno. Now, what Voodoo is doing, however, and this is now interesting, but for the wrong reason. We still got a half a game to go. We don't have half a game to go left on the scratch pair. Scratch, scratch pair, we got two bowlers left. So that's what I'm talking about. That being said, uh, the Gatorade Unicorn got a strike. And, and South Jersey Strike Force now is starting to make a move, not because they're doing anything spectacular, but because Voodoo is figuring out what opens me. So what's, uh, do you, you may need to have a pep talk with your team, sir. I'm calling it straight up the middle. Okay, Cletus is calling it straight up the middle. There we go. Except for that. There we go. And we got a strike. So we need some more strikes. We need some more strikes. Rooting for both teams until the end. 
I should say your team needs some more strikes. I'm, I'm fairly impartial. All right. So we have gift of the day with a strike here in the sixth frame. We have the Huntress right now looking to double up here. And again, South Jersey's trying to get some points on the board right now. She's going face. Yep, that, that's not going to help you with strikes. Meanwhile, we have a little delay on the, on the second handicap pair, the third pair, because we're looking to set up some dead wood. But right now, you can use dead wood to accurately describe South Jersey Strikes Force's uh, scratch pair at this moment. Oh, oh, look, the drill sergeant's got a big split over there. Well, I think drill sergeant's going to break a 200, I believe. He's complaining, he's complaining about the mattress that he's sleeping on. Well, let me ask you this question. Out of everybody in South Jersey Strike Force, because you know this better than I do, Cletus, who called Voodoo out? Sheldon. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Or is this just the uh, Sheldon matchup? Sheldon. Yeah, well, I was going to say, Sheldon's... Uh, how, how do we say this? How do we say this nicely? I don't know. Shel Sheldon's team was not ready. How's that? Is that saying it nicely? Sheldon. So, Sheldon's team was not ready. South Jersey Strike Force Scratch Squad in the third game was definitely not ready. As right now, let's see, the highest is a 214 on South on the drill sergeant side. And the lowest that it's going to be is a 217. Uh, another one where? On the, uh, uh, I see. First handicap. All right, you can see it better than I can because I've got pullers in the way up. Oh, there's a five pin. And it looks like we got a Reaper shooting at a five pin. So I'll raise my hand like this because last time I did it, my hand came out of video focus. I do not wish to break the camera. Slides right now with a strike. Voodoo right now fighting to get the 34. And Reaper right now fighting. Oh. He makes the five pin, but it wasn't very pretty. It was not pretty. But he got it. Now the question is, can South Jersey Strike Force hold on? Gatorade Unicorn right now is up in the sixth frame. So what do you think here? You think we're getting a strike? Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. You think he's ready? All right. Cletus says, here it comes. There it goes. Right right now, 4-2 to two run, at least up 4-2, to two, if not 4-1 to one by Voodoo. Once again, they're getting their lead back in the first handicap. It's a quiet bang. That's what it is. It's a quiet bang. It's a very quiet day right now. Well, there's, there's a strike from Sheldon. How, how, Every time we say he's back in the game, he comes and he leaves. He comes and he leaves. I mean, he's back in the game. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you like my grandmother used to say. Either you in or you out. Either you in the house or you out of the house. But don't be coming in and out. Close the door because right now you're throwing all the AC out of here. Well, right, right now, balls to the walls went from in and out. Oh, not the balls to the wall. One frame you're in and the next frame you're out. If, as spoken by the Heidi Klum of the UBA, please it's Chitlin Juice. One frame you're in, the next frame you're out, and Ball's still well right now looks that he can be out. And again, right now, South Jersey Strike Force needed to take both handicap games by many. Not only are they not taking them by many, they may not take them at all. And, and that would be huge at this moment. Now the question is, can Voodoo get the series wood off the handicaps? Because they're both down on the wood on both handicaps. So they got to make up some wood there. Oh, no. And we got an oh, no from Cletus. Balls. Balls. What happened, balls? Oh, no. And, and me meanwhile... Jay Spoon looks like he's going to finish with 247. So the scratch pair is going to win by 134 pins, assuming that he makes the spare. And he does. So scratch is now up by 134 pins. See, somebody hurry up and get that Nariva for Gritty. Somebody hurry up and get it. Because right now he can't feel the fingers. He can't feel them. It's, it, it, it's strong. He can't feel them. They're numb. That's what it is. There's no like if you saw his fingers at the beginning of the game was like beep beep and then turn around in the second game beep beep. Right now it's like beep. is that another five pin? That looks like another five pin. And that's that's also for the Reaper. Five pin for the Reaper. 
the fourth five pin. Well, it's the fourth five pin for South Jersey Strike Force. No, That's his. Fourth for the Reaper. Well, no, Huntress had one also. No, no, no. Reaper himself had four. He's got four it's five pins. Four. So once again, we'll be raising this. That that third one got a little dicey. I'm getting, I'm getting itchy. I'm, I'm going to smack somebody. I'm going to smack somebody. Well, this I'm could be you, using Voodoo's uh, thing. It could be the first of the day. Looks like he got this one, though. And he did. That looked much better than the other one, which got a little scary. So first of the day right now, they, they're looking to get their first sweep of the day. And if they do that, it could be 34-6. And he's up. Ball looks good. It is. Ooh, that black man is strong. I'm telling you that right now. So right now, Voodoo with that will be up on the second handicap pair, even with even and, with the strike from Grim Reaper. And, and the Grim Reaper is looking for redemption. He is. He is looking for redemption. Now the question just becomes, how much redemption can he do in four frames? Because right now both handicaps are in dog fights at this moment. Sledge, Sledge, right now he's sledging away. And and while. Uh, while Sheldon has the strike, uh, right now he's being uh, outplayed by the other team. Voodoo, again, their first two bowlers are outperforming South Jersey Strike Force two bowlers. And Gatorade Unicorn's coming up, and there's another one. Three in a row for the Gatorade. It, it, it's over for balls to the wall, okay? It, it, it's over. You know, we, we just need, you know, the uh, assisted van to come pick him up. And the stretcher, call the stretcher. No, just the assisted van. Wheelchair? With the lift. Elderlies? Done. El orderly elderlies or just like regular elderlies? Orderlies. Done. All right, well, Boss of the Wall is looking to make a spare here. He will. He's not completely done. But he's complaining about the lack of carry. And uh, I don't know, the only carry that I'm seeing from him right now is Jim Carry. Uh, excuse me, uh, balls to the walls? Uh, ba balls, your, your pastor is here again for your inspirational chat. I'm about to change your name? Yeah, because we got the assisted van with the lift outside for you, and we're taking your jersey back, and we're gonna, we are rebranding you the plastic pimp. The plastic pimp. You understand? I can, look, look, listen. You sitting up there, you sitting up there bowling like you got a spam and kale hoagie. What? Well, wait, 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 what, what did you call that? I don't have, listen, listen. I don't have balls on the back of my shirt. I see it. I see it. I see. You, you got balls on the back of your shirt. Balls on the back of your shirt. You know, if this fire from balls to the wall was only good in the third game, then maybe this would be a closer matchup. However, the fire's coming out now in the seventh frame of game three, where it probably should have come out, oh, around the first or second frame. Meanwhile, the fire is coming out of voodoo. The sledge right now is looking for, well, that at least it's not a five pin for the Reaper. This is not a five pin. No. It's a ten pin. Oh! Me Black meanwhile, man is out, Black man is out, of out or in, depending on how you look at it. How, you, is he good I'm with 10 pins? Grim Reaper with a spare over here. This, this one's actually close. This this is close. It is. So right now, what looks to not be so close is Sledge coming up here. Because right now, we got an open from Reaper, and that can open up the floodgates here. If Sledge is getting on the strike, that will put Voodoo up by at least 36 going into the third bowler. Absolutely. So big shot here from Sledge. Voodoo Raise looking to pull away. You already know that that South Jersey Strike Force is not going to get the total wood. That's going to Voodoo. The question becomes, can Voodoo do enough to get the wood on Whoa, 8-pin. Can Voodoo do enough to get the wood on, on, the, um, on the series matches? Because right now, going in, they're still behind on both. So they've got to win by 24. they got to win on 24 on the first handicap in order to take the wood wood there. And they got to win by 45 on the second handicap in order to take the wood there. Right now, it does not look like that's going to happen. 
And right now, you still have two frames left. And right now, we've got a whole bunch of things going on at this moment. Sledge is making the spare. Gatorade Unicorn coming up. Now, deficit was 23 pins on the middle side. Keep in mind right now, with a strike here uh, from the Gatorade Unicorn, and I say that in jest, obviously you can read the back of the sign. You know it doesn't say Gatorade Unicorn. But with a strike over here, they will be over the 23 pins necessary to get the wood on the first handicap pair. Second handicap pair, it's gonna be a struggle. Voodoo's looking for 45. Right now, they, they don't have the boys to get it for 45, and right now they're even trailing. Big shot here by the Unicorn. He's, I don't want to describe what the heck he's doing right now for TV. Let, let's just say that if you've ever wanted to imagine a Unicorn uh, seeking their rump, you now have visual evidence of that. He's, he's your teammate, go defend him. Uh, you can't. Okay, got, thank you. I just got news. Oh, let's hear news. The first place team all in is, is struggling right now. Uh oh. What's going on? They don't know how to make spares. Well, that would be a problem. Yeah, you usually don't win games when you don't know how to make spares. They're, hurt, they're hurting themselves. They are. So now, again, the difference between Voodoo and all in is 10 points. So if Voodoo takes 36 per se. I'm sorry, they can't take 36. If they take 34 per se, which I don't think is gonna happen, we're looking more ideally probably at around the 30 mark. If Voodoo takes 30, that means All In must win. If they don't, Voodoo will move into first place in the PA North. That's a fact. You would like that, wouldn't you? You call us right down the line of the match, but right down the middle. But from a something that has nothing to do with the match, you would not mind if Voodoo took over. Second place, or first place, I should say. No, I wouldn't mind. You okay with that? Absolutely. Okay, you know, because charity begins at home. It certainly does. Char charity begins by making your strikes and spares. That's right. And not putting up little horizontal marks or red numbers. And, and right now, it looks like, well, Huntress made the spare. That's good. However, and a big however here. Unicorn has got four in a row going in. Uh, first of the day has got a double going into the 10th. And the Grim Reapers has yet to... Grim Reaper has yet to hit 100 and we're in the 8th frame. You do not win. He needs to go in the kitchen to get some cooking oil and put it on his ball and try to get it a whole line. Yeah, if... if it's flying. If you're a 19, 219 average bowler... Oh! If you're a 219 average bowler... Oh, that hurt. If you're a 219 average bowler and you don't hit 100 until the eighth frame, you generally do not win. Just saying. He, Reaper, Grim Reaper decided to go to the backup ball and go pick up his spare. Right now, I, I mean, they, they have to try to hold on to at least get six points here, two for the game and four for the wood on the second handicap side. Then they can at least get up to 12. Because because right now uh, things are not looking very good for South Jersey Strike Force. Because now we're going into the ninth frame. Reaper here looking to make the spare. He does. Sledge right now looking to make his spare. Assuming that everybody does everything that they're supposed to be doing at this moment, a Voodoo will be up by either 40 or 50 going into the tenth frame. And again, they've got to win that game by 23. Right now, mission accomplished or mission accomplishing. Now on the on the push. Well, here comes the push. Voodoo's got to win by 45 in order to get the wood on, on that. On that side, right now, they're still down. So we're going to uh, quickly flip back and forth between first handicap and second handicap. Second handicap, here comes... Here comes balls. Not often that I say that. Here comes balls to the wall. And that's Barry. That's a huge strike for him. That's a double. Again, South Jersey trying to defend the game and the wood because it does not look like they're going to be able to successfully do it on the first handicap pair. Gatorade Unicorn right now, since I said Gatorade Unicorn, he's belted out five in a row. Five in a row. <laughs> so that's going to be at least five to three. He got five on it. Oh, and now we've got a big open by Sheldon. And any shot that they had of holding on to the overall series wood on the first pair has now, as the uh, first handicap pair has now vanished. Reaper. Reaper. So now, so we're, we're, we're chatting with Graham Reaper to move on the camera. Graham Reaper right now is probably at a, 
fun little position. Now, now, here's a question. Hell yeah is over here. And right now they're playing all in. I'm going to be very interested to see what's going on over there. Meanwhile, Gritty with the strike of the ninth frame. Again, they got to try to hold on to their lead. Hell yeah was winning. Well, let's see what the totals are. If this stays as it is, with Voodoo taking at least 30 and oh, Hell Yeah winning, oh, we're going to have a new first place team over there right right now. Black man is out of trouble. He is right now. Their team is in trouble on that third game. Oh, oh my goodness. That we want to talk about first of the day. That was yeast. What, what do you call that exactly? You, you call that strong. You call you call that voodoo. You call you call that a talisman. Okay, that's what you use when you got people coming up with some weird nonsense up against you. You need a talisman to ward off the evil spirits like a dark cloud. That's what you need. Just a reminder: I am not rooting for anybody. I have no dog in this fight at all. I just want to get I just want to get yelled at all the time when nobody shoots a three hundred while I'm commentating. That's there we all. Go. And mission accomplished there. there. And it looks like mission accomplished for Voodoo on the middle pair as well. And I'm basically just saying to the people at home, this is what you do late in the game when you need it. You Step have to up. perform. You have to be clutch. You have to be on time. What you have to be is you have to be focused, okay? So first of the day is known as the legend. I just, I just got that piece of information. I'm not sure. Okay. If a, I'm not sure if his performance was legendary, but the end result certainly is going to be. And they're up big over here in this first. Oh, they're, well, they're, I was going to say they're, they're up big. They are up big. Well, if if you add the 134 that they had over here, South Jersey Strike Force must win the last game by 200 pins. Over 200 pins, I do not see that happening. Oh, hell to the no. Wait, wait, wait. We have a hell yeah, and now a hell no. Hell to the no. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, that pretty much describes it right there. So right right now we're finishing this off. Slidge is finishing off this, and then the Gatorade Unicorn looking to go off to go eight in a row. If he does that, he'll finish with the 235. And uh, more importantly, they will take the wood. So now you're looking at 10 on the scratch side for Voodoo. So I'll put that here. I will put eight on the handicap side over here. And then two over here. So we're looking at potentially 30. I will confirm that in terms of points. But 30 will make you a very happy camper, won't it? He's smiling right now. You see that? That is a smile. Oh, no, you can't. That's a sledge. That's a sledge. Drop the hammer on him. I'm still calling up the oh, we're getting Drop every, the hammer on him. We're getting everything on camera. Is everybody saying, get that on camera. Get that on camera. All right, now it's it's on camera. And, and it looks like uh, the points are going to be on camera also. I will wait on, on a confirmation on that. It does look like it's going to be 30 to 10. But we'll we'll check to we'll we'll Dad, check to Dad see that out. Here. Dad is here. So we're going to see what happens here. But now, good. Well, we yell at everybody equally around here. However, now what team are you oh. from? You're from Kai. Now, I, I I remember you. Last time I checked, you guys had some belts. We still do. We're born right after this. All right, I wish you good luck with that. Now, let me ask you something. Were you right next to All In? Yes. Uh, do you know who won that match? They were tied going into the last game. Oh, wow. That's some craziness there because Voodoo's going to do their job over here. They're going to win, which means All In has to win because if they don't, Voodoo will now move into first place. Oh, wow. I'm sorry? All In's got to win. Just win? Just 20, 21 points keeps them in first. Based on what this is, because Voodoo's going to take 30, I think. Um, and then if they do that, then 21 from all in still puts them in the first. However, now that lead is shrinking, if not completely shrunk. Now, and then the other question is, how did Kaya do? Did you guys win? You took 28. And who are you bowling? Because I got your standings right over here. We were bowling the chosen ones. 
Oh, so now all of a sudden, Chosen Ones, that's a bad loss for Chosen Ones right there. So now all, all of a sudden, there's a bit of separation between the top half and the bottom half of PA North. Oh! And now, oh. going over here, Balls could have finalized this out. I mean, they're still in very good shape at this point. So it looks like, again, not only do they have you to lose, they've got to lose by 45, which it doesn't look like they're going to do. And then, now they have a chance to basically win. It's no longer a 34 pin game, though. It's now going to be 24. Uh oh. Because based on the go. strike. Yeah, here we go. Now we got a Ripper coming up. We've got a Ripper and DBM showing up over here. Meanwhile, obviously, on the middle pair, it's all over. Gatorade Unicorn right now, six in a row. And again, if he goes out the door, it's a 235. Meanwhile, we have the spare over there. So. Boston Wall finishes with the 225. South Jersey holding on to a 25 pin lead, and it looks like they're going to be pretty good because you absolutely needed a strike there from the Ripper, and you didn't get it. If Gritty throws a strike here, that basically is going to seal the deal. That's a fact. That is a fact. If Gr Gritty throws another so mixer. Remember, his, the nerve endings on his fingers are, are kind of like, uh, you know, shaking. Well. Let's see uh, what the fingers do right now because we have magic fingers. They could be magically good or magically bad. We'll find out momentarily. However, the one thing that I will say, if Grady has a strike here, the game's over. Ooh, maybe? No, Tepin. Now, that, that's the one that sort of gets interesting a little bit, see, don't you is, think? This is, this is what I'm talking about when you start begging. Yeah. You can't be begging in a match. That is true. You cannot be big in a match. So now all of a sudden, if he gets the spare, the game's over. I told, listen, listen. I told y'all from the beginning, this is supposed to be strike force, not spare force. Okay? Understand what I'm talking about. Well, there was Mastication. Chew it up and feed the kids. Well, there, there was a strike force. However, the striking was done from Voodoo, especially on the scratch side. And he got the spare, so now he's going to need count. And then Grim Reaper is just going to make sure that he keeps it on the lane. And then it looks like that South Jersey Strike Force is going gonna, is gonna to win this pair 8-2. to two. However, first two pairs was almost all voodoo. And so, uh, yikes. Chucky Dolls. Yeah, Chucky Dolls. Chucky Dolls. So we're going to see what happens over here. Okay, yeah, Greedy needs count. It's at 15. If he can get at least 7 or 8, then... Then Reaper, Grim Reaper does not have a mark. Obviously, if he throws a five or a four, then this is still interesting because then count will count, as we like to say. Oh, no, that's a strike. So right now, Grim Reaper needs, if my math is right, eight pins, and this one's over. Eight gives him 41. The best a black man can do is strikes out is 40. And that, as they say, is that. And that is assuming that he strikes, and he doesn't. So now the game's officially over. However, a very good win for Voodoo tonight. And you know this, man. <laughs> so Grim Reaper will finish this off. He will uh, finish with a uh, yipes. He, he doesn't hit 100. They will win the game because a Voodoo wound up sleeping. They cast their own sleeping potion for themselves in that third game over there. However... And a big however here, a huge win for Voodoo at this point. And so now, let's see, uh, let's try to see if we can get a little bit of commentary here. I have to tell you guys, since I joined Voodoo after not bowling for a few years, I took some time off, and then Mr. Al Cauldron asked me to bowl. In the first six months, I said, hey, I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. But then after practicing with Tony Rado and some of these people here, I joined this team, Voodoo, and I believed in them, and honestly, it's a team effort. We do what we need to do to get things done, but at the end of the day, it's actually just taking care of the team and support them and make right tell them the right adjustments, but honestly, it's just making sure you're a little bit cocky, but not too cocky, and just throw the ball like you know to throw it. And if you don't, this is what's great about this team right here. We all work together, and we adjust together, we live together, and we dominate together. And this is what's, this is what's different about Voodoo right now. 
is this this team is up and coming and once we get it and once I'm great and I'm my other teammates here they know how to bring it here's what it is you wait we will be there and we're gonna we're gonna take everybody on right here I want everybody from North Jersey South Jersey Pennsylvania Delaware to know who the hell voodoo is because I've been around for a long time and I'm back baby and I don't hope I'm too cocky but I'm a quiet guy when I'm bowling but you bring me I'm there that's what I'm talking about I love everybody so